We should introduce ourselves to the people who've bought the DVD. Yeah. Why don't we introduce each other? It might be more entertaining. Okay. Oh, why don't I interest you with a little paragraph? Okay. Okay. So, uh, say your say your name. Ralph Smalls. <laughs> Ralph Smalls. Ray Fines. Yeah. Uh, Ralph Smalls. Um, Rafe Spall. The uh, no, it's not. It's a bad idea. Isn't it? It's, it's just a bad idea. I'm the actor Rafe Spall, yeah. <laughs> who is in this film. To the left of me is industry heavyweight Chris Tickier. Hard hitter. Yeah. Uh, and then we have um, uh, multi hyphenate. Yeah, multi hyphenate. Yeah, Oscar uh, nominated. Oscar nominated. Oscar nominated. After yeah. winning. Uh, After winning. And then we have Dan yeah. Mazer, the writer and director of this yeah. film. That's me. Look, there's Rafe Spall running up there in the rain. Um, just rose burn. Love, that was a nice night, wasn't it? Uh, there, we filmed that on uh, on Berwick Street, where actually we're recording our DVD commentary now. And uh, it's it's quite popular with prostitutes, yeah. and uh, which they, is great. Which is great. And in order to allow us to film, they said they wanted ten thousand mm. pounds, or they would throw um, uh, used condoms at us all night. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> we went with the condoms. We went with the condoms. <laughs> we went with the we condoms. That kind of film. Yeah, exactly. I'm not precious. No, exactly. Um, the only joke about genocide in the film. Exactly. We set it up early. Uh, you see, there the book that Josh Moss writes is uh, called Three Weeks, which was sort of an homage to One Day, which I thought would be funny because Rafe was in One Day. You may have spotted him as the uh, one. Love loser, lo- lo- Ian. Love loser, Ian. Um, Which nearly put everyone off casting me in this film. Actually true, right? it was very funny because everyone was like, okay, well let's go and see what we were talking about casting, Rafe. And it was like, well let's go and see One Day because we hear he's really funny in it. Uh, but obviously they make him look as ugly as possible in One Day. And it was like, oh, okay, he's going to be our romantic lead, is he? But in the flesh, my my God, what a looker. Yeah, exactly. It, was all it smells okay. good too. Yeah. It smells good. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, Alex McQueen, uh, a very um, uh, respected and brilliant British comedy actor. Hilarious man. As seen really in the show fun. Hunderby. Yep. And the thick of it, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Very funny. Very lucky to have him. Just doing a very small part, but I really wanted to start the movie off with somebody who was like properly funny, and he just, you know. He almost burst a blood vessel coughing. We did so many cough takes that it was uh, slightly upsetting for him. Uh, but he was brilliant, very funny, very sw- got very sweaty. You may be able to see there. Both of <laughs> your kids were here this day, weren't very they? Very much so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I think let's move on to the kids. My mother was here in this scene as well, and we don't. I, I've slightly cruelly cut her out because. The, Why the did you do that? There. Just, uh, just because it. Oh, you know, years I would have of had abuse. to. Come on. <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. <laughs> <laughs> very cruel to me. You see, uh, I was just about to point to the screen and say, "You see there, it's my, it's my, my brother and his wife." But um, nobody would be able to say that. So they're in the background, um, and it just. I would have had to add like another ten seconds. You can see my mum's eye essentially there uh, but I won't po- point it out um, she had a nice day out there didn't she, she? had a lovely day out didn't your she? brother was there brother. yeah there he was yeah you can see him Nigel Planer Claire Higgins uh, oh look we're just about to see our children there here it comes uh, Chris Tickier's lovely daughter Matilda with the blonde hair and my delightful daughter Maisie with the dark hair so gorgeous so good One Beautiful. angels little angels aren't they <laughs> couple of little angels good as gold tots yeah tots angels, angels. 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 absolute couple of angel angels. tots yeah. they are really were yeah. um, good as gold I like that bit of slow motion slow and this motion. was so this looks like it was a beautiful day um, it was and miserable it was miserable that was like there was three seconds of that blue yes. sky wasn't there yeah, yeah. that we managed to get and a very expensive crane hired to get that shot so we sort of had to use it and we were doing everything we could to stop the drips coming down from behind here because it was torrentially yeah. raining behind yeah yeah. Here he is. Here he is. Hey, tall comedian Stephen. <laughs> uh, very funny man. Uh, very lucky to have him uh, in the film. Uh, the only person who I wrote a part specifically for was me. Uh, was was Rafe. Uh, <laughs> but it was the best man part that I wrote for Rafe. And, then <laughs> yeah. came in and did it. We couldn't find anybody better to do Josh, so we had to base. I had to sort of double down on Rafe. For the bit. So, um, oh, should we talk about Pedo Rog? <laughs> Let's talk about Pedo Rog. Featured Let's extra, Pedo Rog. Featured extra. Very keen. So we had to like find a man who we thought looked like a paedophile amongst the extras. Oh, and uh, and then we were like very nervous to go up to him and say, look, you know, we're going to feature you, uh, but it's ad- as a paedophile, do you mind? He loved it. Loved he it. was all over it. Oh, he's he's been out since this film, obviously, I'm, I've only been in, made another film. And, all right, uh, all right, Chris. Oh, oh, all right, mate. Another film. <laughs> look at you, I'm these, the big I am. The same extra turned up for that, and all the crew, oh, it's quite a lot of similar crew, yeah. they now refer to him as Pedo Rog. So <laughs> so 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 yeah. He's now Pedo Rog in the industry. Oh, good. good luck to him. He's also. I think he's put himself on the IMDB page on the Internet Movie Database page um, as as, as Peter Rog. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's so, funny if he put himself as just just down as Rog. Rog. <laughs> <laughs> but I think he's looking forward to a uh, big career as a paedophile. Ideally, here he is. Look, standing up. 
You oh. cut a bit out of this speech, didn't you? Uh, yeah, probably. Okay. The unfunny bit at the beginning. There was a bit about when we first met. Um, about fireworks. There was fireworks. Literally. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Baked potato. Baked potato. Baked potatoes. Yeah. Potatoes. Yeah. yeah. A middling joke. Which, middling joke. Uh, exactly. And I thought it was let's not give you. Joke. It was exactly. I wasn't. I thought let's. You know, we could have made this film, this speech, kind of half funny, half serious. I thought it was better just to make it a bit kind of nice. You see, we just cut to a guy in livery who is the um, uh, what do you call it? The MC, the Toastmaster, right? Yeah. Rose Byrne couldn't believe that that guy wasn't an actual Toastmaster. <laughs> that he's actually an actor. Because he, 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 there was a bit when he introduced everyone and, and it's sadly been lost. But he um, uh, he was very good at it. So convincing that Rose Byrne thought that was his actual job and you got one. You probably could have got a Toastmaster for cheaper. Probably. Yeah. I mean, no, 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 that no. would have been equity. No, 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 no. <laughs> you checked it out. No, no, we looked into that. <laughs> there he is in the background again. Lovely Rose. What was your um, actual winning speech like? Was it? Uh, it was oh, one fun, of the things I'm, yeah yeah all of those things I was very proud of it I opened a bottle of champagne with a sword nice. Sabrage yeah, yeah. Which went down it went down a, a tree I bet it did um, I was I was quite grumpy on this day yes this was your yeah, only yeah, grumpy, yeah, day. Really grumpy day yeah you kind of yeah. sort of yeah and and it something about a box miserable. wasn't it yeah they tried to put me in a wobbly box I don't wasn't put, having it never put Rafe on a box no, no one puts baby to any in corner. potential directors listening to this don't, don't make the mistake again of trying to put Rafe on a box I was grumpy for like five minutes but yeah Rest of the time I was very No, you were lovely, good as yeah. good as gold. I was good as gold. You were good as gold. Actually, everyone was good as gold. Uh, yeah. There was a few people I was told might be grumpy in advance, had reputations for grumpiness. But all of them absolutely. Everyone was delightful. lovely. Exactly. Um, yeah, that was nice. I um, enjoyed doing this. So dancing here, Paul Weller, lovely, a big Paul Weller fan. That was a nice song. Yeah, this is a beautiful one. song. What's that? One of your top three bands. One of my top three. I don't really listen to music. I haven't bought a CD. It even shows how rubbish I am. Like people that I don't think buy CD. CDs anymore. <laughs> I haven't done anything for. I haven't many. bought an LP for ages. No, an LP, a long player. <laughs> Uh, there we, we go. go. Oh, the dance. Very good. Thanks to Litzabitza and... Uh, Anthony. Anthony. Anthony from the Utah Saints video. Yeah, Anthony, yeah. who does the Running Man in the Utah Saints video for a long okay. time. That, I, I came up with that bit. Yeah, the, the Beyonce was uh, yeah. was you. Very good. Um, at one point, Jason Fleming decided to get up and break dance, didn't he, that we didn't show. Didn't make it in, did it? Didn't no. make it in. <laughs> the brilliant thing about Jason is that he's like the world's <laughs> loveliest man. He's like the best person to ever have on a... And a brilliant a, actor. And a brilliant, and oh, yeah, like no, no, I was about films. to go on to yeah. that. Oh, but, literally 100 films. But, like, loves being on camera more than anybody else. So yeah. we'll do whatever it takes at any point, like, add a little bit, do a little bit here, <laughs> just to you know, just to jazz it up in some sense. He loves a bit of coverage. <laughs> he loves a bit of coverage. <laughs> coverage, coverage. These were an absolute pain in the arse, these things. Yep. That's true. Oh, I'd given up the will to live at this point. Yeah, oh my God. This was Very like late. just about to lose the light. Yeah. That isn't what the sky looked like. No, no that's all CGI. Thank you yeah. very much. Storming, to the five o'clock invisible. in the morning. <laughs> yeah, five o'clock in the morning, yeah. And here we have Nigel Planer and, and a grand dame of the theatre, Claire Higgins. Yeah. They were very, very lucky to get. They're both very game. Weren't Who they? bears a passing resemblance to my own mother, funny Does she? Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. So that worked out. Fine looking woman. I um, gallantly gave Rose my jacket in this thing because it was you can make it through the freezing. You're all hot. That you? wasn't written. That was just something I threw in. What? Her giving you giving yeah, jacket? Yeah. yeah. That's, but you're always giving, aren't you? That's the thing about you. I'm always giving. Yeah. <laughs> always looking after me. Making the film better. Exactly. Selfless. Team player. I'm a team player. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a company member at heart because yeah, I've got a big good. background in theatre. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'm a uh, I'm one for the company. Yeah. Company is me. Yeah, you are the company. Theatrical. I'm a theatrical type. Yeah. Um, I'm as at home doing a play upstairs at the Royal Court <laughs> as I am a big working title romantic comedy. And all long things may that to continue. All, all things, things to all men. To all men yeah, right? I think you may spend more time doing one of those than the other <laughs> in the future. But, uh, but who's to say? I love the hand on the tit here. Yeah, it's no, very yeah. good. I thought you I didn't ask him to do that, did you? No, I did ask him to oh, do that. Yeah, right, yeah. just for my it. own, um, you know, personal pleasure. Another uh, visual effects shot in the back there, the barn on fire. Chris TK was convinced it would never work, wouldn't it? didn't you? Oh, look, it, it, it But did. now it storms. <laughs> now it's the thing that the storms. joke wouldn't work. Yeah, yeah. People good. come away from this now talking about the it barn. Was, it was baked potato. Yeah. It was middling, I thought. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Um, so here we are in the marriage counselling office. With That's some of my favourite scenes. One of the greatest actresses in the entire world, Olivia Colman. I genuinity. genuinely think she is just yeah. brilliant. We spoke about this yesterday, didn't we? we yeah, just think we did. She's... Privately. We spoke about that privately. <laughs> but now you're sharing it with the Pillow talk. Yeah. <laughs> Pillow talk. <laughs> exactly. Um, um, see, I've known Olivia, whose name isn't actually Olivia. Do you know that? It's something else, isn't it's it? It's Sarah. Sarah Coleman, but there's another Olivia Coleman, and so she decided to give herself the stage name Olivia after our university friend Olivia Worth. Really? Yes. 
um, because uh, oh. Olivia was nice. Oh, hello. Never, hi, with, hi. never with a pen. <laughs> I, no, I, no, like, that was yours. A, yeah, was that was yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw it in. Gets a laugh, doesn't it? Um, um, and uh, so I've known her since my university days. She's affectionately known as Collie. Exactly right. She? That's how I know her. Collie, I say. I say Collie. Yeah. And she, she says, says yes, yep. Dan. Mm. Yep. Because that's the kind of relationship we have. Colly, I can call her that. You can. Yeah. She it was moved on. I've never, never, never said nothing. Cambridge graduates, how lovely. Yeah, exactly. We draw uh, the footlights. We're <laughs> yeah. the footlights together. Here comes, uh, here comes the boring bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> shh, that, uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking. Don't say shush like I actually mean it. It is a little bit boring. It's just, bit. No, it's not. It's, it's just like you're moving from one to the other. It's like, you know, you can shift in your seat. You can um, you can re- regather yourself a little look bit. Look at that view. Come on. That's that is a lovely London, view. isn't it? St Paul's. Daisy Haggard. Excellent. Well, again, Daisy and Kerry, both Kerry excellent. Howard. It's that thing. Kerry Howard, Daisy Haggard, they are um, actors who I'd admired for a long time on television and uh, thought it would be fantastic to have them in the film because they are just innately funny and brave and brilliant performers. It's sort of place to what you did in the casting in general was always trying to cast people who were Ooh, okay, getting, getting, all, getting all serious. <laughs> You've heard my interviews, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you just, a, yeah. Tell, us, tell us more about the well, 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 I'll tell you Dan. about my process yeah. do you want to know a little bit more about my process um, yeah just want really funny people so that they could make my rubbish script a bit better <laughs> ideally um, so here you see Josh's flat if you see he's in Josh's flat so um, we filmed a few scenes in Josh's flat that ultimately got cut so it's sort of a bit weird you don't quite understand where he is or what he is and or why he's still in a flat when, they, when they've already been married and been away on honeymoon exactly yeah. so the, there was a thing that he they was moving out yeah, 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 yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. marriage Never we again. don't believe in cow it painting. and the cow painting I, well. so I was at the London Comedy Film Festival we did a screening of this a woman came running up to me right mm-hmm. and went Rafe what happened to the cow painting, right? <laughs> she said, we've just come from the Isle of Mull. <laughs> no. We did the cow painting. Oh, no one lost. told us it had been cut. Oh, no. It hasn't been screaming. cut entirely. It hasn't oh. been cut again. Because there, lo- there was a long-running gag about the cow painting. It was. Wasn't it? Was funny. That was really funny. But, again, with those scenes in your flat that got cut, that means the, uh, the, the cow painting joke didn't work. But we love the cow painting. It's a great painting. Um, I'm sure if you were to look it up online, you'd be able to find the uh, artist. Yeah. Or if you ever Mull. go to the Isle of Mull. Exactly right. Yeah. We've not Why mentioned them. Um, of Kintyre. We've not mentioned our exquisite leading lady, Rose mm. Byrne, yet, have we? Unbelievable. Um, Unbelievable. Look at her. Look at her. She's a beauty Amazing. of our age. Yes. A talent of our time. Exactly. As, as, as funny as she is beautiful, and she is remarkably beautiful. She's an absolute gas. Yes. And, and we've become firm friends. Have you? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, that's nice. Sent, no, I know you have. That's yeah. very good. So, um... We'll have a we'll, have, we'll come back to Rose because she's a you know permanent. She's going to be all the Whereas way Tom Key, Tim Key, Tom, Tom, Tom Key, Key. <laughs> my dear friend Tom Key, big fan, <laughs> big fan of Tom Key, always have oh, been. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tim Key. Tim Did you know him at your university days? <laughs> I didn't, although he was. Did a, you know when you were president? Of BA, uh, he was a fellow BA Cantab. <laughs> uh, a a prominent he, um, member of the Footlights. Yeah, he wasn't. He basically pretended to be a student at Cambridge in order to get into Footlights, but actually was just like a, a bloke uh, who lived near Cambridge and so kept up this incredible lie for three years that he was a student and uh, so but no one checked it out did no they? one checked double it life, out exactly. yeah, yeah. double life it's almost like that documentary The Imposter yeah. Yeah. but a, sl- <laughs> but a sl- slightly more without, mundane without version without the people murdering their lives. children <laughs> exactly yeah. right yes, it's or true. catfish yeah or catfish exactly right um, but uh, Tim Key like, unbelievably ludicrously fantastically funny um, amazing in this uh, just plays it in a completely unique, uh, low energy, hilarious way. Ad libbed his way through it, all of which is amazing and brilliant. And um, you know, by all rights, this scene should have been cut, uh, and was at one point about eleven minutes long. And I kind of loved it at eleven minutes, but um, it obviously didn't live that way. But I just think it's. I think he's brilliant. I love the whole scene. I love everyone's performances. Just all very kind of sort of downbeat. This was the last scene we shot on the last day. It was. Yeah. Very much so. Mm. Very true. Sad. So you can see there's a sadness in our eyes. A sadness, yeah. Can't you? Because we had a such a lovely time, didn't we? We did. It was lovely. The whole thing was lovely. Yeah. Um, and uh, this was based basically on a, um, on a life insurance man I met in Southampton uh, who uh, explained to me in precise detail what it would look like if my wife got run over. <laughs> <laughs> in order to try and sell me some life insurance. And he only had um, one arm. 
Did he now? Yeah, but he had Did like he a fake hand. Did he use that to describe what would happen when your wife <laughs> yeah. got run over? He just pulled off his <laughs> fake stump. <laughs> Could be like this. And show, exactly. <laughs> and showed it, but he was, um, he was oh, quite a character. Good on him. Yeah. Um, and Tim Key, about to be in the Alan Partridge film, is brilliant in the uh, Mid-Morning Matters. And he's hugely Alan successful Partridge stand-up show. He won the equivalent of what's now the Perrier Award, didn't yeah, he? Um, exactly. Master Slot, is that what it's called? Oh. The new Master Slut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A few. I think. Yeah, that's his most recent tour. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ah. Very funny. I recommend you check him out because he is phenomenally funny and a bloody lovely bloke as well. Ruddy lovely. Ruddy great guy. Bloody Tim great Key. bloke. Bloody great bloke. Yeah, yeah. You know, we talk about Cambridge quite a lot. Ruddy great bloke. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, really good. This so, is just um, not a million miles away from where I live in real life. Actually, don't tell people that. Though. No. Now they're coming. They'll find be outside. You. Yeah, it's a, that's a security breach. Yeah. They'll never careful. know where that is, wouldn't they? No. Okay. And I just said it's not a million miles, but it's it, but it's ten thousand miles away from. Where <laughs> <I'm>. <laughs> Phew. Um, you cover your tracks brilliantly there. Yeah. So here we are. This is the so Arna Farris. flat. Uh, oh yes, of course. Arna and we haven't really talked about the gorgeous mini either. Well, mini okay. There'll be a time and a place for everything. <laughs> we've got a lot to talk about. We've got another. 70 odd minutes uh, I feel really? there, when there's a longer you can bring up can we have a little break or, or <laughs> already no, I'm you're joking. flagging I'm joking there's a big uh, bowl of muffins next I'm door. loving this yeah no it's nice so this is the uh, Josh and Nat's flat which is like the most unbelievable flat isn't yeah. it um, yeah. and uh, we'd be lucky to live there it's, um, it's actually a, it's a two million set. pounds flat yes probably but it's nice yeah, I realise it's not necessarily the most realistic I remember Stephen <laughs> Merchant walked in and just went they're never fucking living here. Ridiculous. <laughs> um, but it's it's nice. No, unless she'd inherited a lot. Exactly through the, the death of a of a of a loved one. Of a loved one. Yeah. <laughs> her last husband. Maybe we should go into maybe we should go into the backstory of the death of a loved one <laughs> leading, to, leading to an inheritance. Well, so Jen Nash is not married nice. to her um, to her dad. No, exactly. Here's the stepfather. So it could be. Yes, ah, exactly. Yeah, you're yeah. right. You're yeah, right. Exactly. It's very possible. This was we had a lovely very time. Successful marketing it, executive. <laughs> Do you think that's what it is? I think it is. Okay, yeah. Maybe she works for his firm. That's oh, good. It's thing. the equivalent of a of a of a Freud's yes. pub fair where yeah. uh, Chris Tickier used to work. Cut his are. teeth. Our esteemed producer in a previous life. Exactly right. Um, so no, this was this was sort of the first ensemble day of filming where we all sat down and did this dinner party, and it was an amazing laugh, wasn't it? It was a we great just, laugh. We just sort of sat around and chatted all day, slightly forgot about filming, because mm. everyone's so lovely, you know, everyone's just sharing stories of the industry, mm. perhaps yeah. past loves. Mm. Mm. Back to the Royal Court. Back, Back to, to the, the Royal Court. court. I was Upstairs. The Royal court. Upstairs at the court. Upstairs <laughs> there the was a court. moment, though, where you sort of thought, I would, you'd quite like to hang out with these six people. Yeah. That, that was sort of the core of the film. Yeah, definitely. It? Yeah, absolutely. It was just like a really nice dinner party, because uh, everyone was just sort of lovely and funny. It's a lot of lasagna, as I believe. Lasagna. I, yeah. st- I stuck to the salad because I was on a starvation <laughs> diet through this film. Well, of course you were. Um, yeah. Five stone later. Five stone later. Unbelievable. Uh, no, fuck the mic. <laughs> oh, no, my, my, let's uh, get this straight. I recently <laughs> said in a magazine that I'd lost five stone. Five that, stone. that is since I was 18 I've lost five stone. Five stone. So I've lost five. You saw my daughter earlier. Five and a, Slightly five. less than five stone. <laughs> really? Yeah. Five and a half stone I've lost since I was 18. Yeah. Amazing. 20. Um, now 29. <laughs> Stone. Soon t- stone. <laughs> <laughs> well, I give it a year. Um, no, uh, I, the, the people were keen for me to look my best. So, so, so and you do, and you did. do. So an audience. Yeah, I thought there's not. A, yeah, there's not enough torso, is there? Oh, there's quite a lot of torso. There's not enough torso. Though, no, I have for the to work say. that you did. We should, really? ha- we no, should have, have been, been more, more. more. Because actually, the scene after this <laughs> yeah. scene was a was a, a love making scene, wasn't it? That got cut. Was that quite a lot of torso in there? Uh, no, that's t shirt. Was it which is, favorite, which is my favourite way to make love T-shirt yeah. and socks on <laughs> <laughs> and also like just poking through the box of brief <laughs> and take it off just poke it through <laughs> easy it's a really it easy, is easy way to do slip it. it out poke it through oh, yeah. job done don't have to get up <laughs> afterwards straight to sleep Amazing. That's the dream, isn't straight it? To sleep. Straight to sleep. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> like, sweetheart. Moving on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sleeping minutes. Yeah. Wear the pants the next day. <laughs> Ideally. There we go. Um, so here we are now. We're about to. Okay. So this um, this thing with the ear. Mm. My wife does it. It's unbelievable Can to you me. Do an impression like, of it. <laughs> Like she clears it, it's the most mm. a guttural, unbelievable noise imaginable. My wife is a wonderful, elegant, beautiful lady. She said, but has is. this. She really is a real cracker, yeah. absolute a real cracker. Bobby Dazzler. She really is. <laughs> and, uh, but she does this terrible. And I, I'm paying homage 
to it here. Uh, as I do pay homage to quite a lot of annoying things that uh, both of us do, my wife and I. I'm very bad at, uh, you'll see coming up, a, a, a joke with a bin. I'm very bad at emptying the bin. She's very bad at song lyrics. That comes up in a minute. Uh, so it's essentially just a she's taken distillation. No to that, though, is she? she doesn't know. She's good as gold, like I said. She's you took a lot of gold. the anal sex out of the film, though, didn't you? <laughs> that was, was not. An, <laughs> that wasn't was an homage. <laughs> that wasn't a, no, there was serious. there was a very well. big um, anal sex scene about. Yeah. Uh, 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 which sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Um, uh, after DVD the wedding actress. night, <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe it is on the DVD. Is actress, it? Actually, I'm not sure. I think it is All about right. um, uh, Nat oh. wanting to consummate their marriage anally. I suppose. I mean, if that's the, the blunt way of putting it, isn't it? We've, we've it come is. to this point. And if it is on the DVD extras, then if you're the sort of person who watches the commentary, you've probably already seen the extras. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's you come first, to the commentary last, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, it's boring. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't imagine anybody listening to this, honestly. I may as well. Well, not this far in, I can tell no, you. Exactly. <laughs> I've been known. I've been known to watch a film and then really? watch it again in its entirety. Oh, okay, with the commentary. With the commentary. Um, but so, anyway, so your own films. Can I? Mainly my own films. Just to see what people say about me. <laughs> we're, we're meandering, we're meandering, and we let are. me finish the point of the story, which is my wife's one fear was that she thought that people might think that that was autobiographical, that my wife wanted anal sex on our marriage. When night. in fact it was you. When it was, <laughs> it was just me. <laughs> when neither of us, mate, I'm clean to stress. Right. Consummated our marriage anally. Okay. Um, that doesn't count. No. <laughs> no. Exactly. Which right. was the gist of the scene. That was the gist of the scene, yeah. exactly. I mean, I wonder whether it does, by the way. Um. Shall I look it up quickly? Yeah, Google it. <laughs> Anal sex consummation. Google. Um, no, I don't think it does. Why? Well, it's actually illegal. Well, sodomy it? would be illegal. illegal. Yeah, it's yeah, illegal. Yeah, exactly. Rightly so. Quite right. Quite rightly so. Still is in the Isle of Man, of course. What? Oh, clues sodomy. in the title. So that again? Sodomy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I. Let's. let's and let, in Berlin's Arcade. Have we got a good sodomy story? <laughs> no, no, no. I was just because I. I, I uh, no, I, it's, no okay. it's, it's not. It's, it's we'll not. use it for after. It's not for. <laughs> but uh, we'll remember, no, note to self: was... get rape sodomy story. No, no, no. It's not to do with me. I was going to talk about um, what's legal and what's not in in the world of fat. Oh, okay. But I just think it's probably, probably appropriate for a DVD right. um, working title commentary. No, no, you're right. Exactly. Even the word sodomy, frankly, is this was this scene was too far. Yeah. Unless said by Hugh Grant. Indeed. <laughs> Love you, Grandma. That's not meant to be besmirched no, you in any sense. Amazing. I think he's very good. Um, um, uh, this scene was yeah, much longer. Disclaimer. Wasn't it? For test, for test. <laughs> this scene was much longer. It was much longer. Much much longer. Jokes. A lot of AIDS jokes. Um, Stephen had a very hard time keeping a straight face. Uh, yeah. For this entire scene, yeah, I did. would have to say, and there was lots of, and for some reason, he started blaming me. Dan, I know you're laughing back there. <laughs> I know you're, and uh, right, as if that was something terrible. And, but I was laughing; it's true. Um, very funny man. He he improvised a lot of this, and it is very funny. <laughs> And uh, lovely Anna Faris. Let's talk about her with her wig on. Barely recognisable. Barely recognisable. She's uh, a blonde and so in life, of Amazingly talented and funny actress that I'd worked with on The Dictator and had m- admired for a long time. We were very lucky to snaffle her for this. Where's this restaurant? This is Itsu. Itsu, Itsu in where? Notting Hill. Hill Gate. Yes. Oh, okay. right. Nice. Yeah, Loving Itsu. Absolutely love it. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. Yeah. Very nice, very delicious. You see, we just get a little sneaky peek in the background there of TV Simon Baker. Mm. Look at him being t- TV already. and movies, Simon Baker. And, and movies. movies, yeah, yeah, yeah. Devil Wears Prada. Yeah, amazing in that. Yeah. Brilliant in that. Already dishy, isn't it? Even from even from the back there. Just, oh, ooh. Ooh. hello, ooh. bang, <laughs> pow, Wallop. shazam. There you are. Hello, touchdown. He gets um, He gets pissed off of you. Constantly talking about his being dreamy. About how good looking he is. <laughs> it's amazing, uh, but I don't blame him. But we, you, you'd get me that we do lots of riffs later on in the film where I would just talk about how handsome he was the whole yes. time and he really used to yeah. bother him. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't like it. Oh, here we go. Okay, we, so we've moved on from Itsu um, to... Uh, central London somewhere. Central London. Holborn, I think we should. Yes, I suppose you'd call it that, wouldn't it? Very, in yeah. the old Central St. Martins. Uh, top yes. floor. Yeah, top Which floor. Just not long closed down. Exactly, and we made... It was like... Eight floors up, and there weren't any lifts, and we no had to lifts. drag all yeah. the um, stuff up. God yes. Oh, yeah. God oh. bless. Camera God crew's bless. favourite location. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, they loved it. Oh no! Yes. What are you doing? The lads <laughs> taking the dolly up there. There was a um, there was a good riff here about licking, wasn't there? That You're in okay. Why did you take it out? Just too long. Not too funny long. enough. Yeah, I mean, uh, essentially, the the first assembly of this film when we got out so you put everything together was three hours long because there's lots of improvisation. The script to begin with is probably a bit too long. So we had to cut out lots of really funny stuff that hopefully you've all seen on the um, DVD extras. Um, Joseph Milson and yep. Jalenga. Jalenga Scott. It's an exotic name, isn't it? Jalenga. It certainly is. Yep. Joseph Milson. 
Very nice. Here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, aye, aye. <laughs> Same name, uh, It's an excellent yeah. run. It is an excellent, excellent run. run. Yes, very good. It's about to have her own sketch show uh, pilot, isn't she, Carrie Howard? For the BBC, For the BBC yeah. Quite very deserving, talented girl. If you haven't seen Him and Her, she's the uh, brilliant standout performer in Him and Her, which is an amazingly funny show mm. written by Stefan Goloszewski on BBC nice Three. One. Yeah, it also really, really plays. Fun. I don't know if I've mentioned that. Oh, I do plays. Do you do plays? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's probably my first love, but you know. Um, Don't do yourself out of film jobs. I'm not going to. Whatever you do. We'll see how this goes, shall we? So here we go. So basically, I had to persuade Simon here to be as obnoxious an American as humanly possible. Um, because this he's is not, his first Which day. is the opposite yeah, his of first him, day. Exactly. Yeah. He's so smooth and kind of uh, generally kind of unobnoxious yeah. that I just had to keep on pushing him and pushing him to be as, as obnoxious as possible. And he's brilliant. He he's elegant, isn't he? Isn't he is very elegant. Elegant and smooth. So... Um, um, what else can we talk about here? Nice pistachio Harris. top, mm. can't we? It's a lovely clothes Rose wore during this. She's very this bit's to. funny. Yes, mm -hmm. this is good. Sort of improvised this on, is the on the day, day wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It kind of came out of reality. It's, I always find it very annoying when, when words are squeezed in. Here we go. This is good. Always gets a very big laugh. This, yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, free yeah, laugh. Yeah. Very good. Do you come up with that? I did actually. Yes, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think all the you touched on the costumes. I think all the costumes are really beautiful in this. And very, Charlotte Walter, Charlotte Walter, mm -hmm. uh, BAFTA, BAFTA winner, uh, and BAFTA winner. Won a BAFTA during the she during did. She, she did. You're right. For yeah. what? The bird song. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. right. For a day yes. to get a BAFTA. Exactly right. Um, yeah. I'm actually sat here as we as we do this DVD commentary in a complete Josh from I Give It a Year outfit. Mm. Have you because paid for that? no, I was just about to say because Chris Tickey, yeah, yeah, generous and brilliant producer, was incredibly kind to gift me the whole wardrobe of my character um, including the exquisite Tom Ford suit that I got married in which was much nicer than the actual suit I got married in in real life Yeah. so I wear these clothes all the time they're very nice Fo a lot of folk a lot of folk that I used to sport not so much anymore for some reason I feel it's a bit too I've overtaken young it. for me but uh, yeah, yeah. I say wear he says wearing <laughs> a pink <laughs> and yellow leopard print knit <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> you, wear, you wear folk very well so they're, they're a lovely Thank uh, you. clothing brand yeah, I recommend to brand. the listeners of this DVD commentary um, you could send this to folk and maybe you'd get some free stuff I, I'm yeah. not much for blagging aren't you no I'm not actually don't You've know got why. loads like of money. To pay your way. Got so much yeah. money. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Did you learn that at Cambridge? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I was uh, in the Footlights, uh, we, we had a, a masterclass about bragging. You were vice president of the Footlights. Yeah, you? very much so. Very was it just so. constant review reviews? A lot of uh, boating songs, songs oh, yeah, about yeah, rowing, yeah, yeah. that kind of thing. Was there a sense yeah. that if the president was killed, you'd step up? <laughs> yeah, we were never allowed to eat the same meal. We couldn't fly, yeah, couldn't okay. fly together. No. That sort of thing. You couldn't yeah. punt together. No. <laughs> this bit here, when she does plays with a willy, was just one of the. I could not hold my shit together. Yeah. I don't know why. No, that was very funny. I think what she's trying to say is, is that the everyday reality of marriage started to overtake the fairy tale. Oh, scratch, scratch on the chin. Naturalistic. Scratch. Yeah, very naturalistic. Just absolutely. Somebody swallowed a copy of Eat Pray Love. That's funny. It's funny, Jake, isn't it? Yeah. I think um, as. She's so we, funny, Colin. Makeup and hair is beautiful as well. Uh, Chrissy Blundell, Oscar winning. Chrissy and actually, Blundell. we should talk about, you know, actually, most importantly, not most important, but as important as everybody else, I say, being diplomatic, uh, Ben Davis, the director of photography. Mm. Um, he made it look brilliant and filmic and glossy and sharp, which is what I really wanted. Because a lot of British comedies you see, and they just look a bit like kind of glorified TV. But actually, Ben just gives everything such a sharp, clean, brilliant look and so fast and so brilliant to work with. He was a complete amazing ally absolutely and charming guy to work with yeah. um, shot huge movies over the years you've worked with him quite a lot haven't you Chris? Yeah. Yeah. Chris brought him on in fact Chris and Dan assembled an absolutely crack crew smashing crew weren't they so there's this is the something bin. you do yeah, that's me and I, I do, do all the time and I think I share your opinion on it there's nothing wrong with it no I agree what's the problem why, would I, why yeah exactly well, why wouldn't it, you crush it's it it's green isn't it yeah it's green. more stuff like, in the bin rather than more bin bags but there is a tipping point at which you actually break the bag that's, that's, that's the not a good thing that's and then you've got ooze exactly you've got bin ooze bin juice terrible bin juice so here the song we should talk about the song here Maverick Sabre uh, well, singing songs the out, really. yeah, exactly. But we're we're at this point now. Let's talk about this one. He's very talented, Maverick. Sabre. Maverick Sabre, brilliant. A big fan of his. And uh, the Long Pigs. He's covering an amazing Long Pigs song from sort of the nineteen nineties. Uh, whose name I can't remember. Uh, on, on and on. on, on and on. It's called. Which is an amazing. I mean, check out the original. But obviously, Maverick Sabre's cover is just sublime and brilliant. Um, Why the 
I that understand one? why girls get so upset about the Lucy up. Yeah. I think just put they, it down. They, yeah, exactly. Just put it down. How hard is it? <laughs> it's the same effort for you to pull it down. Actually, less probably in terms of physics yeah. for you to put it down than me to put, put it up. up. Exactly. It's much harder putting it up. Exactly. Flip it down. Yeah. I don't feel they should be grateful that it's up in the first place. Right? That we have exactly. Yeah, it. exactly. Exactly. That's the thing, I think. Yeah. People like this bit, I don't know. they? They do the like song it. lyrics. They've picked yeah. up on it. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it is annoying, isn't it? It's really. How annoying. do you feel? Are you a? Are you quite fastidious with your song lyrics? Certainly, I'm fastidious. I feel it splits men and women completely. you think? When we've watched it in audiences, it's that that men laugh at and women go, why is that the funny? Point? Yeah. That's not funny. But I just think somebody's made the effort to write the words. Yeah, like, I won't sing it full-blooded either unless I know exactly what the words are. Yeah, well, let's just hum along. Do a little hum if you don't know the words. Yeah. There's no shame in that, is there? But yeah. Ah, oh, sexy okay. cat. Sexy cat, Sexy though. cat. The classic Halloween outfit <laughs> yeah, yeah, of, the, yeah. uh, of the attractive lady. Yeah. Isn't and it? Lads, ga- gangsters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With a violin Lads, case. gangsters, girls, sexy cats. Violin case, ideally. Yeah, violin. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Tarts and Vickers party. That's an odd thing, isn't it? I feel that was like our parents' it's generation. It's gone, but Tarts really and Vickers, and the best one was we Bloke goes as a tart, girl yeah. as a sexy yeah. vicar. Exactly. Brilliant. Classic. Subversion. You are, you are such a... This is funny. People like this, don't they? This is us try- desperately. You can see her and try not to laugh face. Yeah, that's a good try not to laugh face. And Collie just really look, look, goes. I'm, look at me. I'm yeah. You can see I'm yeah. obviously trying not to laugh. <laughs> I love the receptionist just sitting yeah. there the entire time, just the uh, just taking the volley of abuse. She was very good, wasn't she? Oh, Harrop's. There we are. CGI, right? Uh, well, a, a library shot, and then Harrop CGI'd onto it. Yes, exactly. It's like Avatar. Is it really? Is yeah. I think we might win awards. Yeah. I genuinely think we should win awards. Is that for this and uh, you were, pie. Now um, this was the meantime brewery, meantime small yes. independent brewery. In they Canada. were lovely, they were very nice to us. Yeah, yeah they were really nice. And so uh, check out meantime beer. It's lovely, lovely lager. It was lovely, wasn't it? Yes, they gave us free bottles of lager, which was nice. I'm, I'm a teetotaler, mm. so I didn't. Again, extending the theme of me not blagging. <laughs> stick in the mud. Um, I didn't. I didn't partake. <laughs> Absolutely stick in the mud. Yeah. Um, Cut out here. Out. There's a good joke cut out here that I really liked what about uh, gaffer tape. Uh, nobody oh, else liked it. God. It was Where, about murdered prostitutes. Yeah, it was about murdered <laughs> prostitutes. Basically, they used Harrop's gaffer tape uh, mm. in the murdering of prostitutes in Cheltenham. So, so far, the stuff has not made it into anal sex. It was a real story. It was a real prostitute story. No, no, because I, I, I was thinking of the Ipswich one. And then put in Stoke Newington. Then put Stoke instead, yes. So it's not real. But anyway, I cut it out. This lady's good, isn't she? Yeah. Her, yeah. yes, yeah, she's I tell you good. what, in the read through, Jane Asher did a brilliant job of reading that part. I don't remember that, yeah, at all. she did. She did totally really? signed yeah. up her versatility. Yeah, proper shit house is a good proper line. Shit proper shit house. Proper shit house is a good line. Because again, the, the, the battle here, as with all the film, was to not make it too kind of saccharine and make the kind of romancy bits too romancy. And maybe I've gone a little bit too far and could have done a bit more romance, who's to say? But like this. That's nice. You yeah, love that. That's nice. I do like that. It's on yeah, the day, I loved like it. That. I love no, it. No, I like it. I think it's good because it, was, yeah. it breaks her up. It shows that she's vulnerable and a bit goofy. And, you know, I think it's a lovely touch. It's, it's like the, when she grabs the phone in the office. What's yeah, great yeah. So she, she, you, she has this air of of uh, invulnerability but actually she's a little bit goofy and a little bit fragile and but going back to the shit house thing I put that in just in order to, to make it not kind of unadulteratedly cheesy and uh, mm. saccharine that was a, there was also a difficult thing to get, get off wasn't it her, yeah. her telling telling Rose how wonderful Simon was yes. and what an excellent boss he was yes it's one of those things that you kind of have to put in at some point in order you were to on this train weren't you Chris didn't oh, yeah. you go with Rose on this I journey did. Yeah. I did. how it's, long it's, was it it was like 8 Dan, hours to do Dan this. Dan <laughs> shot. it's the only thing he didn't shoot and he consistently tells me how terrible it is <laughs> As did somebody else, independently said, who shot that terrible <laughs> thing in the train? And I said, well, it wasn't me. They go, there's one shot I hate in the film. Change the season. That's it. Change the CGI snow. VFX. Very nice, isn't it? That's good. Lovely. Oh, we like this, didn't we? This was a sort of our we first day, this. wasn't it? Or maybe second, second day. Second day. Yeah. yeah, it was good. We sang, you sang a little song yes. that we cut out. Do you remember it? I did. I, I love Marty. Christmas and a Christmas time. Meticulous wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good. Yeah. One of those things that on the days you think is absolutely hilarious. And, and then when you watch it, it's a bit weird. No, it's still funny, but you just think, okay, I can't yeah, well, quite yeah, justify yeah. it. And this is another pet hate. Oh okay, this is. Um, there you go. Coming up now. Will I need a coat? Yeah. Don't you hate that? Yeah. When people ask you, will I need a coat? I don't. I, I don't know whether you need. I genuinely don't know. You know how you know how cold it is. Oh, I'm just repeating my lines. <laughs> you are Rose Byrne. Yeah, I'm literally. Yes, it's just a, a just a way for me to vent my fury. Um, this is nice. I like this. This went on for about three times yeah, as long did, at one yeah. point. Um, okay, Ministry of Sound, Night Club now, aren't we? Scene of our crimes. Scene of our crimes. Yep. Aye, aye. 
Hey, Lads hey. on top. Um, huh? Oh, no, hold oh, on. Hold on. Who is that beautiful lady? That oh, is uh, Daisy Donovan, a.k.a. Mrs. Mazer, the wife. Her indoors, her indoors. The ball and chain. Ball my favourite bit, though, when she walks off still speaking Japanese. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she'd only actually learnt one sentence of Japanese. Uh... That I sort of think about it, and then she walks off, just lit talking, just saying, Oshitashi. Oh, yeah, Oshitashi. Yeah, Oshitashi. yeah, exactly. Akatashi tofu, yeah. uh, sayonara, just probably incredibly offensive. Slightly casually that. racist. Exactly. <laughs> Not even casual. No. Formal, formal racism. Uh, Carrie Howard in the background in a fetching pink it, dress. Giving it so. Oh, Carrie Howard goes, goes yeah. in the background yeah. later. Yeah. Loving it, exactly. Uh, I like this extra. This man was an extra who I picked on the day because he, he looked like uh, Mark Lawrence. Yeah, he looked exactly like Mark Lawrence. Looks a little bit like Mark Lawrence. He's got that same thatch. BBC's Mark Lawrence. Exactly, yeah. Very good. And then after this, oh, okay, here we see William Andrews mm. coming out. Will Andrews in the double breasted suit. Funny face. Uh, who's funny really, face. really funny. Unfortunately, his funny bit is cut out a bit later on. Uh, but Big shame, that. Amazingly funny. And it's a really funny bit. Is that going to be on the DVD extras? Mate, I don't think it makes it on, actually. Ah. I'm not sure. But it's really funny, and we'll talk about it when the time comes. And he's a really funny man, and I'm very upset I cut him out, but he's great. Um, he Again, I saw him. He's been in lots of things. I saw him in Him and Her, where he does an amazingly funny uh, episode of Him and Her, where he plays a, uh, a paedophile. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it down again. I'm sorry. Um... And in the Ministry of Sound here, we were here for like three days we in a dark room. The only three sunny days of the entire summer. Yeah, it was red hot. Yeah, outside. Red hot baking, yeah. and we weren't anywhere to be seen near the sun. Incredibly annoying. Um, look at her, she's so... Look at her, she glows, isn't she? She does, yeah. She really does. yeah. She's a movie star. Amazing. Proper, proper movie star. Fantastic. And so, so does he. Lovely. We're about to see your uh, dance, Rave Sport. Which we did like 25 minute takes. So off, sweaty. Is, oh my God. Yeah, just kept you going. Seriously, we did like such long takes of that. Yeah. We did it three times of yeah. me doing the most ridiculous dance moves in the world. Exactly. And we have. I like it that you've got the, that sort of. Like, yeah. like a sort of bear getting tortured. <laughs> like Gary a, like a dog in the background. There you go. I'll carry it with, uh, Martin, with Martin Treneman. Uh, another incredibly funny man who unfortunately. There we go. We slightly cut out. Yeah, you like that one. That's we start good. gentle, we get That's a bit good. bigger, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Um, a bear getting tortured yeah. by cruel gypsies. <laughs> Something we've done. Yeah, we have. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. We actually, that was in your rider, wasn't it? You want a bear that you, t- you can torture. Yeah, exactly. Trailer. I worked with a bear once, and the bear wrangler was called Zoltan. Really? What was the bear yeah. called? Gareth. Uh, no, but you know what? It's Gareth, yeah, Steve, I think. Yeah. But the um, uh, the bear, it was really weird. He would get all angry yeah. until he was thrown a full bottle of two litre bottle of Coca Cola, no. which he would pick up and take the lid off and drink himself. Amazing. Do you want to hear my bear story? I've got a very good bear story as well. We, we, we had the bear in Borat. I don't know if you remember. Oh, yes, he went around with it. Yeah. And uh, what's brilliant about the bear is he was incredibly well behaved, but any women who were menstruating weren't allowed oh. within 500 metres oh. of the set because it would drive him crazy just lose his shit yeah lose his shit so basically it was like kind of there's, on the call sheet of every single day it was like a big Carry thing saying, someone off right, yeah, there. Sorry. Nice. there you go yeah, so not, for, not, for, not for not for real it was acting uh, she looks like a good, good, good technique a lot of purchase I had two love making scenes with Rose Byrne that were cut out of the film I'm sorry yeah it's alright that's okay but that's part of the thing as well because it was a weird balance wasn't it the kind of the scenes that we showed you with because because it's the story as you now know having watched it of um, a couple that you sort of don't want to be together we had to really kind of toe the line quite carefully of um, of you getting on too well on screen and not you know not well enough so we don't want you to be kind of you know, horrible to each other, but at the same time, we want to see that there isn't kind of an, an innate mm. connection like there is between you and Anna, probably. Because um, we got on very well in real life. Well, we all got on very well, but, yeah. but you know, Rose is a great uh, uh, audience. She she loves a laugh, and yeah. um, she's very generous with her laughter, and and um, uh, it's just a sort of delightful person to have. Yeah, she is really brilliant. She's so nice. I mean, we were so lucky to have her, and then she turned out to be Here we fantastic. Go. Oh. And there was more uh, Martin Trenton, who you'll recognise from the Inbetweeners. He's the dad in the Inbetweeners. And Phone Shop. And Phone Shop, which he's brilliant in and is amazingly. This is funny. Everyone, is your friend everyone Pandora? Knows this. Pandora yeah. Collins. No, I mean, not really my friend particularly. No. No. My friend. My yeah. friend. Okay, I knew there was a friend. She's, I would call her my friend yeah. Pandora. She's a girl Colin. about town. She, everyone knows Pandora. She used to be known as Pandora Ormsby Gore and is now Pandora Collins. Collins. Yeah. She, um, um, very, very funny actress. Gr- brilliant stage actress. Yeah. Again, only only in a couple of scenes. But This um, is a scene that is just about to be really Oh, yeah, funny. so here, but basically, we cut out here because uh, it was deemed, again, in the balance of making Josh too obnoxious. Mm. There's a scene now where he goes back to the poster and has an argument because he overhears well, Will Andrews' character talking about 
uh, stealing one of his jokes. And there's a big thing about being a joke thief mm. and uh, stealing his jokes that I thought was really funny, but it turns out nobody else. It's one of my favourite <laughs> bits. Yeah, I agree. And you were, you did lots of really funny improvisation in mm. it as well. Yeah, now, yeah, I did. Yeah, we allowed to say that at this point when we went just about. Four weeks before we started shooting the film, we found out that um, Anna Faris was five months pregnant. Oh, yes. Uh, exactly. And yes. therefore, uh, during the course of the filming, went from yes. being not very pregnant looking to being really quite yeah, pregnant. Really probably pregnant. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we had to bring... Yeah, the yeah. first two days that she came on the shoot was this this threesome scene and then a scene yeah. we'll see later, which is sort of kind of... We her and her underwear. As much yes. of her in her underwear exactly. <laughs> as early yeah. as we could. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So... Um, uh, and, uh, you know, hats off to her for, for doing a, for being a threesome game. scene. <laughs> Whilst, whilst four months pregnant. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure her, her tiny baby, Jack, Jack, now. Jack, uh, now born. Jack, yeah. yeah. Jack. Little Jack, now God born. bless him. Here you are, Jack, probably listening to the commentary. One of the few people to got here. Exactly. Yeah. You've already been in more threesomes than I ever have. <laughs> ah, nice, one, nice one, nice one, nice one. Um, uh, uh, Jalenga. Should we just say Jalenga? Yeah. Jalenga. Yeah, she's extremely attractive, oh. well-built oh. girl. Joseph right. Milson looks like he's having a good time there. Uh, yes. <laughs> what do you mean? He looks like he's really enjoying himself. Yeah, well, you would do, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. What's not to like Indeed. about that? It's a good day, isn't it? This is funny. Yeah, it's funny. And she was great, and uh, I mean, she threw herself into it. Lord love her. Oh, oh. hi, hi. hi. Yeah. Hello. Very nice. And jo- uh, Joseph Milson, who you may recognise from... Uh, Holby City. Holby, Holby City. City. <laughs> um, many other things. He's a familiar face, very good actor, very familiar face of stage and screen. Um and uh, obviously they are all wearing their clothes in the threesome which is possibly a bit uh, incongruous but no you mention time, it yes yeah, yeah at the end we mention it but is that um, an ADR line you threw in it is yeah a yeah, little yeah. thing that we put in afterwards in order to kind so. of make it slightly make a joke of it yeah. um, but this was a, a, a difficult day to shoot the kind of continuity because they're kind of writhing around all over the place and again they were kind of improvising a lot so whacking it all together was quite was quite tricky um, and again, it's a, it's a, what's really nice about this film is that lots of people, you come out of screenings and lots of people, because there are sort of five or six big set pieces, lots of people have different favourite set pieces. And some people, this is their favourite set piece in the film, they think this is great. Some people like the doves is about to come up or the charades or photo uh, the photo frame. Uh, so there's, you know, it's, um, you know, this is kind of one of the, I sort of had this idea for an awkward threesome for a while and sort of wanted to kind of slip it in as a big funny set piece. Uh, and hopefully people okay. laugh at it. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. There we go. Off she pops in. Here's the ADR line right here. You both still have your underwear on. There you go. But you cut a big speech. There was a big speech there, wasn't there? There was a big speech. Too long, too boring. You people disgust me. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's right, yeah. yeah sex oh, people. I thought you were talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, having in disgrace on the sofa. We've all so been there, haven't can we? Can I just say there's no better acting than lying on a sofa acting. Yeah. So let's talk about uh, the song. I think it's worth talking about the songs. One of the things we decided yes. to do was to try and find great songs yes. and then have them covered by great new artists. Who's this? So. Uh, this is Christina Train. And it is a beautiful version. Absolutely and to her beautiful. Voice, it's, uh, it's, it's like honey dripped over melting chocolate on top of... Blossom. But Blossom. melting butter. I mean, that makes it sound like a slightly disgusting confection. That sounds horrible. Don't they sell that in yeah. Iceland? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a three-burner. Lidder. Uh, <laughs> um... But yes, uh, the idea was to kind of give Formosa songs Street. that might seem kind of a bit kind of cliche in a romantic comedy a kind of slightly modern twist. Mm-hmm. Um, and Christina Train has done that um, fantastic. And, and we top, should the, thank Nick Angel, our music supervisor. Yeah. Nick Angel, amazing, amazing. Yes, yes, brilliant. Universal Music. Who, uh, Absolutely. You know. David Joseph. The um, so, so I suppose it would you call it the title song off the soundtrack is by an artist called Jessie Ware, who I just think is my one of my favourite artists of the last five years. I think she's brilliant. My idea to actually put her in, you know, I flagged yes, it up. Yes, no, no. You said you said to me that the week before that we had a, we we booked her. Um, Jessie Ware is amazing. You should look at Jessie Ware. She's just had a big hit in America. Has she? Yeah. Not really? Yeah, yeah. She's going. She's going global. She's going places. You spotted her first. I did. Yeah. I did no, the same with Lily Allen. Spongebob Square Squarepants. Okay, so let's, we should we should do a little yeah we should do a little <laughs> straw poll. Maybe people could tweet in or whatever they do nowadays. I sound like a radio tweet DJ. In, well, after whether the fact, whether when, they while think, they're watching the DVD commentary whether, yeah. sometime in the future. Exactly. Like, this will be an amazing debate. Exactly. On the IMDb. <laughs> okay. IMDb. Whether a message board. She's wearing a Anna Faris here. Anna Faris is wearing a SpongeBob SquarePants dressing gown that I wrote in the script. I thought it would be funny because there's a line here. I am wearing a SpongeBob SquarePants dressing gown. Blah blah blah. Um, uh, and I wanted Sp- SpongeBob SquarePants, but it was going to cost initially ten thousand pounds, yes. and then we got it down to five thousand pounds. I think it's five thousand pounds worth well spent. Funny. 
<laughs> worth the funny. To have we were offered Paddington for free. For free, exactly. And in fact, we were rather encouraged to put Paddington. Exactly, it's going to be a Studio Canal film. <laughs> ah, right. Out in a while see, of yeah, Paddington. Yeah. Directed by Paul King. King. Yeah, very good director. I'm sure yeah, it'll be wonderful. Very good. Um, I like this scene. Yeah, no, it's a nice scene this. Sensitive, isn't it? Sweet. Yeah. Um, yeah I enjoyed the, the end of the shoot. Cold day, very cold day, I remember. Anna Faris's last day. Anna yes, Faris's last scene. Big round of applause for yeah. Anna Faris. She's very happy to be going home to her husband, the actor Chris Pratt. Yeah. Fabulous actor Chris Pratt. Quite pregnant from uh, Zero Dark Thirty. Yeah. yeah, quite pregnant there under the SpongeBob SquarePants. So Aww. we needed five thousand pounds to cover up the bump, really. Anna Faris is so brilliant. She's she's like complete American comedy royalty, really, isn't she? Mm. It was so great. But, uh, kind of film. under always used in kind of big wacky kind of comedies mm. generally, and is an underrated. She's a proper kind of actress. actress. She's exactly. a proper actress. Yeah. She, like, she does this scene and the scene coming up later on in a taxi incredibly well, and just is utterly believable and credible and sensitive and vulnerable and delicate. She, you know, she's fantastic. We love her, and under that's a wig, and underneath that bright blonde. Right, blonde hair. There we go. SpongeBob SquarePants eyes. Five thousand pounds. <laughs> Enjoy it. Drink it in. <laughs> Drink it yeah, in. Yeah. Pause it. Um, Rewind it. Pause it. Look at it a few times. Because that's so we can get. Yeah, exactly. We can get our money's worth. It was there. an important scene. That that was the sort of scene that was the, the pivotal scene between those two mm. characters. Yeah, and wasn't in uh, kind of earlier drafts of the script. And I was encouraged by many people to put it in. Uh, slightly against my will, but very glad that I did. And um, it's a it's a very nice scene. Nicely to written scene. Well, thank you. You're very kind. Very kind. Where's Considering this? Considering the duress. Indeed. In, yeah, what yeah, what like, hotel oh, is this? It's not a real hotel. It's the magic rave school. Of movies. Of movies. What is it then? You remember it's the same place where we filmed the counsellor scene? Absolutely. Uh, it's the lobby there. Yeah, and, oh. the, and the lawyer scene. And, and the, lawyer scene. And the yes. wedding bedroom yeah, yeah, yeah. scene. That exactly in the right. Anymore. Made to look like a jazzy central London I've shot hotel. in that very room. I don't show off. No one else to show in off. That very, on a BBC don't drama go on about it. called The White Sargasso Sea with yes. the actress Rebecca Hall. Oh. Ooh. Wonderful. She's no, she's very good actually. I like her. Absolutely brilliant. I like to work with her. She's good. Um, so yeah, so it wasn't a real hotel. Mm, it's very yeah. good. Mm-hmm. Go. Simon Elliott, our production designer. Yes, of course. Thank you. Very good. You're very good. At yes, brilliant. And a brilliant production team. He's very clever. Well, this because this was where the dinner party was. Yes, this was <laughs> this, our this flat. Your flat. Kind of put a few things in. So um, Anna Scallon. Anna Scallon. Big hats off to Alan Scallon there, the, the Agent Provocateur assistant. Yeah. Uh, underwear provided by Mimi Holiday here. Yeah. Is yes. that right? Yeah, that's yes. right. Yeah. Agent Provocateur weren't nice. interested. Exactly, they said no. Yeah. So we entirely aped their entire <laughs> setup anyway, but just didn't call it Agent Provocateur. No. Gave it a Chinese theme. That it was Simon boiling hot good. in that studio, and I had a coat and a woolly jumper on. It was so hot. You're, you really are a trooper. No, I am, yeah. You know that. I you know. go above and beyond. It's like mining. And you'll be it? applauded yeah. for that, aren't you? Yeah, I yeah. am. I am. Anna Skellen, um, very right. fine um, actress. I can never work out is it, whether she's Australian or not. She's Australian. She is. is. Yeah, but she spent a lot of time here. So That's right, yeah. So I, I can never quite understand it. But she's great. She was in a... Um, a lesbian drama The L Word the, uh, No Lip Service Lip Service Exactly On BBC Three If you want to check out Some of her previous work mm. Was it racy? It was racy Was it? Yeah Not half Chris Not I didn't see it actually But um, I may I may YouTube it Yes I'm... At some lonely point In the future <laughs> A dark night. <laughs> uh, but Anna was brilliantly came in and was part of all the casting process and was yes. Sort of, when, when I as a result, yeah, we decided that she yeah. was so brilliant. We had to have her in the film. Exactly, she helped us out when we were when we were auditioning. When you were auditioning, people, Josh's, Josh's, yeah, yeah, exactly. People who might be better than Rafe. Um, uh, Indeed, I'm going to say I'm going to say a secret. We're going to go behind the curtain here. Go on, behind the curtain. And, Let's take a um, peek. Uh, take a peek behind. And um, Dan Mazer and Anna Skellen did a a really lovely thing because Dan always wanted me to be in the film and it was always uh, made it clear that I was his guy the night before my final screen test um, uh, uh, Dan and Anna Skellen came over to my house and uh, we rehearsed the scenes and I'm uh, a part of the reason why I'm in this film is because of Anna and uh, because of her help and her generosity so thank you very much yes oh. she's great and she's a brilliant, brilliant actress and, and great and fantastic here kind of sort of you know it's it's rare for very kind of good looking sexy people to have a sense of humour and be because well, you don't need to develop one exactly you? <laughs> you don't, you all the work's done for you you just have to sit yeah. there and let people gawp at you yeah. so it's quite a rare combination and this is one of my audition scenes and um, yeah. uh, it's one of my f- favourite scenes to shoot actually it's because... fun yeah and you do it really well I really like the bit that we've just gone past where you go oh it's got to go yeah, one new one, one new go. Go. yeah very good very yeah. good I like a court here. of your finest so, panties Montgerie <laughs> <that's> <laughs> again based on personal experience of just the sheer horror of having to get underwear shopping there's no worse kind of humiliation for a 
British man. So um, here we are in the Dove scene, as it's about to be. Um, is this in that same place that the yeah. last scene was shot in? Exactly different right. Room. Yeah, different room. Uh, I would say this was your funniest two days on uh, the film, I think. I, well, yes. Of your entire life. Of Possibly entire of life. your entire life, was so, how you described it at the time. <laughs> Cardinal Burns. Cardinal Burns. So let's talk about Dustin Demery Burns. Um, who is a tipped in the standard by Dan Mazur as the uh, the future the of, future of comedy. comedy? He yeah. is very funny, I have to say. And if you watch Cardinal Burns, the sketch show, uh, it's amazingly funny. And probably by now you know about it. Um, but they're a British sketch duo who first came to prominence with a sketch called Fiery Hawk, which you should uh, down load on YouTube because it's, it's really funny it's very funny so let's talk about the doves basically so Rose Byrne gets the script however many six months before this obviously there's a scene written doves are released in the room they fly around Nat da, da, da. she doesn't think to tell us at any point that she has an unbelievably crippling fear of birds <laughs> crippling. like absolutely Cannot crippling be in the same yes not, not just the same room the same vicinity as a yes. bird mm. so it's like Tippi Hedren times a million <laughs> Uh, and she there's is rehearsals without rehearsals. birds there's like all sorts of things going oh, on. doesn't mention at any point she thinks oh I didn't really think about the birds <laughs> um, so none of this is acting and actually the, kind of the whole kind of tenet of the scene had to change because it wasn't really supposed to be about Nat being petrified of birds it was supposed to be sort of slight distraction but it turns into like this is this is proper look at that that's proper actual Funny, terror. It's terror it's amazing so like screams <laughs> yeah is that real? So she yeah. actually, she really actually yeah, fell yeah. on the floor she genuinely on the floor. because she was so scared. And I think there is you were in an there for two days. thing. Two days. Two days of both. At days. no point did she become even remotely more kind of acclimatised to birds. Yeah. And they would land on Simon's head and they would be around. He was fine, though. Oh, yeah. You know. Man, the Australian man. man. The Australian man, the dreamy. Yeah. <laughs> he, since, he since revealed that he was as scared as her, but he didn't want to show. Mm. Amazing. Look at that. Professional. Um, Look at that, totally unbelievable. But yeah. to, just to prove that no animals were harmed <laughs> in the making of this. Uh... Exactly. <laughs> Apart from the dead birds and the fan. We only had um, one dead stuffed bird as well, yeah. we realised, after it had been dropped 17 oh, yeah, times course, yeah. and was quite flat. Yeah, I know, that's true. I really and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't look anything like a bird. I lost a lot of feathers. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the bird poo was, I think, pesto and yogurt. Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt. Yeah. So anybody wanting to recreate... Which is delicious. Pesto gets a snack. No, yeah. I sometimes use that to eat with fish. What, pesto and Greek, Greek yogurt? yogurt? It's a lovely yeah. dipping sauce for fish. Do you know, like, Tell not us about your favourite dish. The uh, Was it the... Um... Spaghetti bolognese with chicken livers and milk. Yeah, wonderful. Milk. Mm. Whole milk. A peasant. You... Peasant food. Peasant food. Peasant, yeah. peasant uh, Italian peasants. They love it. Yeah. Why did this bit cut out? Well, just too long. We just long. spent too long talking about <laughs> really? pants, yeah, yeah, ultimately. Okay. Yeah. You know, it's again another funny little little half scene here, probably a couple of minutes cut out where um uh Josh the women talks really about like a crotchless crotchless panty. Oh yeah. Yeah, it seems well, I can't remember. Not really yeah. fit, not, for not fit for purpose. A bit like a um a, a, a doorless house. Very yes, pregnant. Exactly. <laughs> Very pregnant. Very pregnant first day on set. Yeah. Right. right. Bloody Lovely. great. Yeah. What a well built girl. I mean, you know. Well built. Is that nice? Yeah, no, not yeah. like well built, no, not well like put together. A handsome woman. <laughs> not like, oh, she's a handsome woman. In my big book, that's a big compliment. Okay, well built, yeah. that's nice. Yeah, that's very good. I like this little bit. Built. Yeah, it's, it's very nice, this. Nice acting. Uh, score here, very good score. Elan um, uh who, again, Chris had worked with before on. Layer Cake. Which? And Layer Cake. Uh, he did work on Kick Ass. Yeah. And. Uh, that's it. Stardust? Stardust. Yeah. Stardust. Yeah, sorry, Stardust. Yes. Stardust. 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 Yeah. Beautiful score on Stardust. Yes. No, it's fantastic. And uh, works with Steve, Steve McLaughlin. Yeah. Who um, um, used to work with Eurythmics, and actually was one of the reasons we, that he spoke to Annie Lennox personally to allow yes. us to use Sweet Dreams. Exactly. Which the record company thought um, oh, really? yes. we were yeah. mangling the song. <laughs> exactly. But it's an homage. So, no, they did. And the score here is lovely and really helps build the tension. It's lovely, actually, this bit the of music. Scene. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, this is He's one really of my talented Elan, actually. Yeah, he is and brilliant. Collaborative. And yeah. Yeah, fantastic, and and uh, I'm a bit of an idiot when it comes to music, and um, he really held my hand through the process, which is great. And uh, so this this is this um, before the kiss here, the the dialogue about the chlamydia and the gonorrhea, that's sort of almost one of my favourite bits. I kind of yeah, again, it's that thing about marrying and like, what could be a sort of cheesy, uh, overly romantic, sentimental saccharine moment, and kind of undercutting it, you know, with talk of sexually transmitted diseases I think it's quite a challenge to create a romantic moment was there a point where you things? would have done tongues in that kiss I'm sorry mm. I'm, I'm sorry. Right. it's a funny thing it's Chris. a funny it's a funny kiss yes 
What do you mean? You think it's too like dry? I think we could have. I think that you could have gone tongue, and I can't quite work out whether it was just. It's like day one of shooting with Arnold. I know. It's, well, no, tricky, it's, wasn't a, it? it's a weird thing, tongue. From a man, you can only really go tongue if the girl kind of instigates first. it. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's sort of part of the code of kissing on screen. It's a really weird thing. Did I, you mint up? Were you expecting it? Always mint up. Yeah, you always prepare for the tongue. Um, but do you want to tell me that? Uh, maybe share that funny tongue kissing story you told me the other day. Which one was that? About the on stage. No, I'm not going to share that. <laughs> Sorry. I'll show you later. <laughs> oh come Great on, you story. can't do that. To... If ever you meet Ray Spool in the streets, <laughs> ask him to tell you the tongue kissing story. It it's involves a famous kissing. actor and tongue kissing. Uh, yeah. What was his name? No, 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 no. Not but, uh, It's a very good story. <laughs> okay. Um, I love this scene. This is a great scene. Uh, the world's coldest day. It was like the middle of May or June yeah. and was bitterly, unbelievably cold. Um, and there was a bit lot cut out of this scene. Yes. And I've been, uh, you know, I understand that, the, the, that you have to cut stuff out of things. God. And um, uh, every single thing that's been cut from this film, I am absolutely happy to concede. Yes. Uh, apart from this little bit that you cut out here. And you know what? It's the only row I had during the entire making of the, uh, the thing with uh, studio executive people. Not even really a row, but basically they said to me, please will you cut it out. So essentially there's a very long uh, extended run where, why don't, why don't you do it now? No. Okay. Well, it was a moment of inspiration that lost forever. It was uh, where Rafe goes on a very funny thing about translating a, like sidewalk pavement. Uh, it, so it extends extends this idea in a very long sort of 30 second run where he speaks in Americanisms and translates them into English. And it is brilliantly funny and hilarious and was actually one of my favourite bits in the entire movie. But played nowhere else in the world apart from in England mm. went down great in England mm. but when we previewed the movie in America everyone was like kind of left shaking their heads it was impossible to <laughs> also, it was actually impossible to dub was the big problem because was it? Was it was like, if you, you take it to France you, it, yeah. you know when you're saying pavement sidewalk yeah. Uh, oh, force true. it tap yeah. it's the same word so you have to go I did the tap and the tap and the, and the yeah. pavement and the pavement so yeah. we had to cut it out yeah, annoyingly yeah. so um, but uh, but I feel your pain yeah, I no, I'm, I'm fine about it. And this is also another very funny bit that we've cut. It's, it's, it's slightly cut short. It's like almost my favourite bit. Cat piss. The cat piss, yeah. You're, why is your mum... I don't know. Why urine? don't you ask her? Uh, I will. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will. Good. Good. Why don't you? Yes. I think it's such a funny idea that her mum... Nigel playing that. Watch this. Go on, Nigel. Go on. Straight <laughs> in there, Nigel. Good on you, fella. Um, oh, everyone's favourite people yeah, like this, go. don't they? It was a very but, long, convoluted process to find yes. a word that um, uh, sounded like another swear word that also included the idea of someone being a doctor in it because I like the doctor joke here that you're not, you know, disappointment, regret about to come up here. So I had to think of a doctor uh, title that also had something that was quite near to a swear word. An exercise, basically in logic. Well, it was originally the scene was going to be scrapable, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, so, so it was one of those things where, where by not being allowed to do the thing you originally wanted to do, yes. we ended up with something much funnier. Yes. Yeah, it was going so to true, be yeah. swearing out, uh, it was spelling gonna... out vagina on a scrabble board, um, which you know, is perfectly funny, and, and is based on a uh, personal experience where I uh, spelled out queef on a, a scrabble board, which is a. Uh, that's a, 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 a vaginal fart. Exactly do you know the word? Right. Do you know there's a? Do you know there's a male equivalent? Go on. It's called a quondorf. And what is that? Wait, what what a, is that? A, a cock fart? Yeah. No, How is that that's possible? Impossible. If a small bubble of air gets... I've never heard of it, but I was... <laughs> a quondorf. That's a quandorf. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quondorf is the equivalent of a... Ma- but, and it's a, a triple word score, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a, Apparently, it's no, that's how it came up, because I, I was in America, I was on another set after this, and, and one of the actors said quondorf is actually a word on Scrabble. Quondorf. Mm. I just remember the people who own Scrabble, we'd sent them the, the scene yeah. saying <laughs> the word vagina, they came back, no, you can't spell the word vagina on a Scrabble board, but can you can, you can come up with alternatives. Oh, yes, <laughs> so, we did, yeah. There uh, was a night where Dan yes. Mazer and I sat and just wrote down long alternative yes. words for <laughs> yeah, vagina yeah. Exactly. to send to the men at Scrabble <laughs> ah, <laughs> Maisie Maser again there she is I like that um, alright bloody Lionel Blair yeah Lionel Blair <laughs> that won't yeah. play anywhere else yeah, yeah, exactly. it's funny I think yeah. Americans don't have a great knowledge okay, of Lionel Blair ok here we go ok so yes here we go all in time listen to what's going on in the background yeah. tits or face tits or face Face, uh, wrong answer. Tits, yeah. I think, wrong answer. Was uh, it? Was it really? yeah. yeah, tits, exactly. tits is wrong answer. Yeah. Uh, also based on uh, <laughs> a famous celebrity anecdote. Somebody, a, a famous celebrity uh, once said that 
Uh, I've got all the stories, mate. Yeah, exactly. That was very good. Um, I've never seen Jason Fleming look m- more right than in front of a Christmas tree yeah, with, a shot, with a sweater over his shoulder. He, he, I love he was the only person who really, really didn't like yeah, his wardrobe, yeah, his yeah, trousers. He was just like, no, God, really? Yeah. But it was so brilliant. His face is so kind of full of hope and wonder. And, <laughs> but he's, and he's wholesome, isn't he? He is, Jason. He genuinely is one of the most talented, kindest, loveliest, charming men in our industry and it's a better place for him. Exactly. It's he's brilliant. a true cornerstone. A, whenever he walks in the room, you're just like, oh, Excellent, Jason. You just want to be next to Phil. It's really nice. Here Terrence we Harvey, go. Terence Harvey and Jane Asher, yeah. uh, both amazing. Terence Harvey, a tremendously nice, clever man. Just uh, you know, uh, just does uh, his face. This look is here so good, is just isn't it? amazing. I just yeah. love his face. Do you know? Do you want to know what? Do you want to know a fact about Terence Harvey? Go yeah. on. Till he was thirty, he was an accountant. Really? Yep. And then he became an actor and played accountants for ten years. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jane Asher. Um, a fantastic uh, actress. Um, oh, oh, hi, hi, hello. Um, uh, we'll oh, talk right. about Jane Asher later because I think that they, yeah, yeah, I think we need much more to talk about, talk about aren't they? Yes. Uh, I think. You know, so on the day when we moment. shot this, that was a green screen, and we put on all the photographs at the later end, on. Exactly. We, the right. last day of yeah. shooting was when we shot the naked and photographs. Obviously, we never went to uh, Morocco. Oh, hello. <laughs> that's not Rose. That's Burn. not Rose Burns' legs. Uh, nor is that. That is a very nice body double. Uh, who was who was very sweet, wasn't she? Lovely she girl, yeah, absolutely lovely girl. smashing girl. Yeah, good as very gold. game, very good as gold. Absolutely, Bobby Dashler, cool. This took so long to get right. Actually, it's very, it's sort of fast, isn't it? So yes. it's very technical. The blocking of it is very good. Yeah, yeah. and that's that. The uh, the Morocco pictures are from my actual holiday in Morocco, yeah, where I went just before minute, we started shooting. Yeah, Hitchcockian, a Hitchcockian right. tiny appearance. <laughs> oh, this is good. So cat, cat wrang, cat mm. wrangling, cat wrangler. All this so cat do was stay still. And the, and cat, the cat wrangler was unable to do it. She was rubbish. <laughs> like cats, just stay still. That's their default setting. Actually, she's probably credited, isn't she, the cat oh, yeah. wrangler? Yeah. <laughs> yeah and, no, she wrangler. was good. It was a terror. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to go back? Yeah. <laughs> Cut Here that we out. go. Hang on. Yeah, Where is like he? Sort of amazing animals, I think they're called. It's a very Something terrible animal. is just about to happen. Yeah. There you go. Dan 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 in the background there. <laughs> you see? Oh, yeah. Green jeans. Yeah, there we go. Something terrible is about to happen. I like that leg slap. Yeah, leg slap is very good. You play kind of... And again, it, 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 we could talk a lot about the scene, uh, but I think the most important thing is about to happen. Oh, yay! <laughs> Michael Fassbender, everybody. Michael Fassbender Hello. didn't know he was in the film. Hello, Spoolie. <laughs> Don't mind if we do. Ray Spools. Ray Oh, balls. look at that. Shut that. Actual penis. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's Ray proof had positive. to go into a room on his own with a camera. And I the did. choice The choice of position he took <laughs> was that. Yes. Was that. Was that. exactly right. Yeah. But yeah. you know what I mean? As, I, as I've said many times in the interviews for this, if I was flexing that, I would have wanted to do every single scene <laughs> naked. I would have yeah. been like, oh, wedding. Day Why don't one. we have oh, a naked out. wedding? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, pool, pool, uh, pool. Why did we do that one naked? Yeah, it was Very truly good. an awful day, and I downed was a pint of white wine yeah. in order to do it. Yeah, but and you wouldn't tell you didn't shrink as a result, did you? By any sense? No. So, yeah, my willy gets bigger when I drink. Does it? No, uh, um, it couldn't. <laughs> I've got a friend whose thing where really, he can his his penis fills a, a pint glass. He says I've got a pint of cock. It fills a pint glass, like just long, lengthwise, <laughs> lengthwise. When soft, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah. But I've got a pint of cock, he says. Well, there was that guy, he's a, a, he was a ga- gangster and also an actor. He was called John Binden in the 60s, and he could famously hang, you know those pint glasses with a handle? Oh, yeah. yeah. Five <laughs> off his arena. <laughs> with no hands. Brilliant. Brilliant. I also love the uh, urban myth about King Dong. Do you remember that when we were young? Uh, I remember yeah. King if, Dong. He, if he got an erection, he fainted. He fainted. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. all the blood <laughs> <went> to the <laughs> penis. <laughs> King uh, Dong. King Dong. Uh, so I really like that bit when um, Jason Fleming um, does an air bowl. Yeah, yeah. bowl. Yeah. yeah. That's a leftover. There was a big bowling scene. And one of the things uh, yeah. that attracted him to the script was the chance to bowl on screen. Yeah, 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 <laughs> but we yeah, cut yeah. it out, so he managed to still get in his little bowl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mini driver, let's give a mini driver shout out. We haven't given one yet. I think we should have uh, a good five minutes. On I mean, amazing. Driver. Just amazing. so lucky to have her. She's absolutely brilliant in this. We love her. Like, proper national treasure. And good on her for doing the script. Usually she would do much bigger roles than this, but um, very nicely agreed to do it because she, you know, because she loved the part and loved the script. And the film is massively enhanced as a result. Absolutely, she is just she's pure class. Pure class. Amazing comic timing. Uh, just incredible gravitas, screen presence. Just very lucky. Exquisitely beautiful. Look at that torso, eh, Rafe? Look at yeah, that. Come on, let's quickly, quickly uh, yeah. while it's there. Exactly. Five stone. I worked incredibly <laughs> hard to look. I love that line, so by buff. the way. Rugby. I love rugby. 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 Yeah. 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 It's very good. That's Rafe's. Um, uh, no, I mean, that. that is your sort of... That is, in, in 
film leading man term that's a normal body but let me assure you that for me is not um, and oh, I look, that's, a it's not a norm, that's chiseled that. yeah. chiseled <laughs> you've got that kind of torso that oh. V torso thing the yeah. V torso yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very nice classic. I enjoyed this scene this was shot in the Lansdowne which is just off um, no no no. what was it Lonsdale Lonsdale, Lonsdale. which yeah, is just yeah. uh, off Lebury Road in Notting Hill yeah. really nice spot there, so. there isn't actually a pool bar no. but we turned into a pool bar very brilliantly Simon Elliott um, spotted the, the potential which is great um, and yeah, uh, this is when the film really gets good. We can do really a shout out good. to San here, it's can't we? San Davy, the script. Oh, uh, the lovely script, uh, San, uh, the script, script supervisor, who uh, sat next to me the entire time. Well, only because you're about to see a scene that would drive most script supervisors yes. completely insane. Exactly right. We're about uh, to play Paul, which is incredibly difficult in terms of continuity and what the script supervisor on a film does is basically she makes sure that everything matches so that when you go back and shoot a scene from a different angle or do another take that the continuity is perfect and San did it without a fuss uh, she did it seamlessly was brilliant we never had to go back and shoot anything again because of bad continuity and she was also just a complete delight to sit next to lovely right time. lovely but the, yeah, the, lovely. The, the pull you could sort of see her pulling her hair out because mm. the idea yes. that, that sort of nerds of the future would sit and go oh that ball mm. that yes. ball's not in the same place look. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. well please god they do they probably yeah. don't care mm, nobody no. cares enough to watch this <laughs> but um, <laughs> please God, they yeah, 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 if, exactly. they've, if they've listened really this they far did. in the yeah. commentary, right, they're yes. definitely looking at the bowls. When I'm giving my BFI masterclass on this yeah. film in years to come, then uh, it all started here. Of yeah. course. Yeah. So Rose amazing. Burns' face in this, yeah. I could have played the entire scene on Rose's face because it is just an absolute picture. I don't think anybody plays misery <laughs> better. Look at that; really? it's amazing. And one of my favourite bits is about to come up here. This, this here. The um the chalking of the queue, because again like you know we've all this been. Is very, Rafe did it very good. Yes. This is good. Rafe. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. And uh, the dynamics of this scene, I love the kind of. It's one of my favourite things in the film. Yeah. Forwards and the kind of flow of it. And originally it was set around a dinner table, um, but I thought it would be fun to put an element of competition in it to induce a bit of rivalry between uh, Josh and Guy. So look at this. This is good. I love this. This bit here. She couldn't not look at her trying not to laugh. Huh? Look at you trying not to laugh as well. Yeah. <laughs> so if you change angle here. There's definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, you see, see, yeah. see, you're going. You're definitely going at that point. That's where we see it, which yeah. is very good. Um, uh, there we go. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> but again, it's uh, you know it's that thing that we've all been out as couples to play pool, mm. and it's incredibly mm. frustrating and annoying to play with somebody, whether they be a, a man or a woman who can't play but it's wants to play and sort of gets worst. in the way of your game. Yeah. Incredibly annoying. It's a and, killer. and you can't help but just be incredibly. But nothing. I suspect it's also more annoying on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Somebody Super really cares. Person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> About pool. Which is yeah, which is absolutely me annoyingly. You did? Yeah. Oh. No, yeah. we played a bit. Yeah. You're good. I had to. Yeah. No, no, yeah, oh, I mean, sorry. in yeah, terms yeah, yeah. of caring, I'm I, all right. I care I'm too. Fine. Yeah, yeah, I care as well. Um, one of one of my one of my gifts from the very kind Dan Mazur at the end of this uh, was a um, I really. Thought you were about good... to talk about one of your gifts was <laughs> one of my, uh, his, uh, a natural ability to play pool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I am quite good. Yeah. But um, <laughs> oh, joking aside, oh, yeah. joking aside, joking aside, yeah, I'm actually quite can play. Um, no, da Dan got me like a really beautiful pool cue, one of those ones that you screw together, one of those ones that you, you uh, if you turn up into a pool hall with one, you can be nothing <laughs> other than an inexcusable douchebag. <laughs> um, but uh, and my name on it, Rafe the Rocket Spool. Yeah. Screw together, and screw and together. Kind of, yeah. yeah, sort of. Uh, oh, that was a gag, wasn't it? I had my own yeah. cue in this, yeah. but that did, didn't yeah. make it. That in. didn't make it either way. Brought along his own. again because it was just thought to tip, the, you know, tip the balance slightly into Josh being an unforgivable <laughs> asshole if yeah. he actually had his own pool cue that he brought along to play pool with. Ah, that's no point. Look at that. I, like that. I love that. It's very no funny. Point. Rose's face. Point. Oh, I think it's my. I think Chloe's right. I mean, um, uh, this was a fun day as well because we got to play ball in between takes. And you see in the background, uh, meantime, beer. Yes, there you are. Exactly. Yeah. That's a by way of homage to them. That was good. And uh, Anna Faris is actually quite good at pool in the flesh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't terrible. She yeah. could, uh, yeah, she could she wheel the queue, couldn't she? Look at the good-looking extras in the back just enjoying a drink. Yeah. Easy as you like. Yeah, good, good looking extra day, good wasn't it? Extra like, right, day. we're in the, you know, exactly. cool pool bar, we need good looking extras. Yeah, more unscrupulous directors like than it. myself would have had a field day. Wouldn't they? Yes, they would. Yes. It's the domain of the director often to pick off the extra. Not me, though. two shots of. None. You could have any one of those boys, couldn't you? <laughs> 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 
Yeah, very nice. Um, this was a thrill. Oh, to Carnaby see. Street, Foo Bears. Yeah. Foo Bears Place. Oh, yeah. And film King right in the centre of town. Yeah. Yeah. Which was really nice. Again, and, and just to be, if I may be serious for a moment, um, I did want to make this a very kind of London film. I wanted to feel kind of authentically London 2012, 2013, and not kind of use those sort of chocolate box locations like Tower Bridge or Big Ben and just make it feel like a very contemporary modern place that I recognise in the place that I live in and you know I thought this was a, a great location in sort of buzzy Carnaby Street on a Thursday night and um, obviously Carnaby Street is from the 1960s so I haven't necessarily done the thing that I'm saying but um, uh, again kind of the neon and you know I, like, I love kind of modern London as a location it's a brilliant place to film well we all live in London and we love it we do other than Rose too. Arna and Simon <laughs> <laughs> all of us in the room well, we all <laughs> all of us in the room yeah. exactly so um, this is Soho isn't it this, this is, is Soho a little alleyway in Soho yeah. um, intimate and there we go oh look at them go and it's funny because um, is that you Dave that's that you Dave it was uh, originally we, one of the last things we did is we replaced uh, the um, voice coming through the intercom which was my wife the wonderful days and on and again pretending to be a sort of uh, a, a, a kind of a, a fishwife this is so much is better. That Dave, Dave? And then we, uh, we, do, we have now a Chinese lady. It's much better. I don't know what she's saying. Could be saying anything. Mm. Could be filthy. This film's shit. Nice. Yeah, exactly. What am I doing here? Yeah. How much are you paying me? This much? <laughs> Rubbish. Oh, so this is very awkward for um, Rose and Simon, who have known each other for about sort of 15 years. Old friends. Yeah, and old friends, and then been forced into snogging. But they do it very well. Regent Street. Regent Street. So this is interesting. We shot at the time of the Jubilee. That's didn't right. we and uh, when we scouted Regent Street uh, it was as it looks now it's a big union but then we, yes, exactly. <laughs> then we turned up the day before and the whole street had been bedecked in probably 300 massive Union Jack flags. You can see yeah. in the uh, window of Hamleys there a Union Jack with the Queen on it. So uh, we had to, uh, in panic, ring up the day before and ask the council to take down 300 massive Union All Jack flags. All the things flags. they just put up. All the yeah. things they just put up. A great expense to ourselves and annoyance to them. You can see in the background there just three Union Jack flags just uh, 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 hanging. Mm. Uh, and basically they were all the way up and down the street then we had to remove them. Uh, but that's the magic of movies, isn't it? We click our fingers... It's we amazing, jump. isn't it? It's amazing, we jump it's amazing that we got people to... I know, unbelievable. Like, you know, yes. Regent Street, Regent centre of London. Street. We're making yeah. a film. Take it all down. Yeah. All right, then. Yeah. Fair enough. It's yeah. amazing. What, I mean, why, why do you not see more of these amazing locations on film? Is it because they're just really expensive? It is quite expensive quite and a hassle. They're quite as well. Right. Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, remember, we, we had some control here, but the, the gag with the taxi pulling Brilliant. up... Brilliant. Uh, let's past. not forget our oh, locations. Phil Booth. No, no, oh, come okay. on. Let's talk about Phil Booth. First AD. Phil Booth. The housewife's favourite. His worst night. Yeah, his worst night. He literally... he was controlling traffic yes buses taxis um, mm. an un unbelievable job and also uh, so constantly hit and... by superbug Phil yeah. Booth constantly <laughs> ill <laughs> it's always ill yeah. yeah. oh, but, wait weeks again exactly right. to be honest the first AD it, you know there are there are sort of two schools there's the sergeant major first AD who just shouts at everyone mm. yeah uh, and I think Dan particularly wanted a a kind of a crew that was friendly it was a yes. one that wanted it to be a friendly set and so yes. Phil who I've again worked with before yeah. brilliant AD and has and a since. completely different um approach which is you know he's funny yes. and he's, he's he's strong and kind of exactly. gets people working but there was no shouting on set there was nothing yeah. like that amazing um other than this night where i think he shouted yes. a lot of taxi drivers and ruthless efficiency <laughs> and also incredibly drunk people because it was about yes. 4 a.m <laughs> on a thursday morning oh my god yeah. coming out of places and mm. then one man on a bicycle who had something about art being the domain of the free or something like that. <laughs> oh, <it's quite laughs> crime crime i can't remember yeah, that is the other problem with London, yes. mad people. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. A lot of mad people. A lot people. of mad people. We do, yeah. Well, this this was quite early on, this scene. Yeah, it was. I don't know what's happening here. We had to, re we had to uh, loop all the dialogue, ADR all the dialogue, because of a, uh, a creaky floorboard. Was this um, did we? Yeah. Did you? I didn't ADR this. Maybe Rose did. Maybe it was over Rose's lines. Yeah, I think Rose did, yeah. I didn't ADR she this. She was creaking. Um, Maybe it's not your voice. Oh. Hold on. Um, shit, imagine being dubbed. That happens to people, doesn't it? Yeah. You're going to be dubbed. I know. No, but I mean like dubbed. Well, no, <laughs> dubbed right, in English. Yeah, 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 dubbed in English. Yeah, that would be. See so that Pouffe? It's be. now in my house. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Really Dubs are nice. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing. That all the stuff was so exquisite that at the end of lots of films, they have a thing called a crew sale where people can buy stuff and usually just people don't bother. But this, people were, as we were filming on day one, just saying, I, I want that. the sofa. I want this. I want <laughs> that. Dibs on Give me that. Yeah, mm. give me that. 
Um, a lot of it went to the house of Deborah Hayward, our lovely and, uh, executive and Sarah Jane producer, Wright. and Sarah Jane Wright, our amazing kind of right. production, production executive. executive. They the kind of title. nabbed it first. Mm. Um, a big shout out to to both though, of those, both though, amazing, formidable, brilliant women. Um, and Sarah Jane is, is known as SJ. She's been at Working Title for a while, and I, I did a film years ago with Working Title, a less successful one than this. Um, but she was um, she named a, Calcium Kid, I think. Yeah, named the Calcium Kid, and yeah. she um, was around there. And she's just a delight. She's a great girl and so much fun. Yeah, she is brilliant and lovely. And Deborah Hayward, amazing. She was a very great champion of this script very early on uh, in uh, pushing it through. So um, uh, I would like to pay my respects to her at this point. Deborah Hayward. Absolutely. This one's for you. Um, so here we uh, are. Yeah, now this is me after <laughs> killing myself running every day, pretending not to be good at running. <laughs> Even though you have an amazingly chiselled body. It's ridiculous. No, but you have to pretend that you, yeah. Yeah, you cannot run. Ah, now we were going to have a song here, which was going to be Never Break Us Apart by oh, In Excess. Yes, and uh, right. we, were, we were rather, you know, we thought we were very clever to have it and it worked mm-hmm. really well. And then yeah. Marks and Spencer decided to do the same thing. Uh, exactly. their, uh, no, John Lewis, yeah. John, John, oh, John Lewis, Lewis, sorry. Exactly, yeah. Um, but this, I think, maybe even better. Who's this singing? Song. It is Lolo Pritchard. Oh. Uh, and it's just a brilliant arrangement of a very kind of familiar song that, uh, you know, I've loved for many years. And we should talk about Claire, Grandma. Yeah. Amazing, who sat there for lots of time, for, for days on end, having her vagina pointed out, <laughs> despite being 80 years old and was incredibly game. And, Same uh, game and like and such a good that's my handwriting such a good sense of humour yeah. and like just a lovely lady exactly brilliant not many it's like doing your own stunts though, isn't it doing your own cards yeah. oh, here we go well okay so here we go lots of people you were saying yesterday <laughs> actually don't notice the massive boner which is just about to appear yeah well, it's sort of there burn. and then it's there. So, it's yeah. the move yeah there we go <laughs> so let me tell you how we did that this was a thing on the day there was um like a sort of toy robot in the room. Yes. It was supposed to be like from Josh's previous flat and I ha- I was controlling that with my hand slowly moving it up. Yes, not incredibly technical. <laughs> like you want a sort of hydraulic rig or something. Yeah. It's not a brilliant film story, that no, it's not. is it? About the technology. Like, how do they make these films? How on earth do they do it? How well, would they, good how would they get that? Good look from Rayford. It's Yeah. yeah. Uh, we did a lot of takes of that, yeah, though, didn't we? A lot of takes. Lot, yeah. It drove me fucking mad. Yeah, day. yeah. I don't know why. I think no, I, uh, that was like one of the things that didn't come incredibly easy. One no. of very few. Yeah. But we got there in the well, end. Well, because it's very technical. Very technical. Yeah. Like the robot. Like the robot. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, it's like it's like Casino Royale. This film. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the parkour scene. Yes, we're getting near the end now. I've been enjoying this. I know. Well, we, we why don't we do two commentaries? Should we do, can we can we go again? <laughs> can we see another film? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We certainly. Just have a chat. Um, we made it. Yes, oh, this is a good shot about to come through. That's I remember this uh, scene we did. Oh yeah, wait, let's just yeah. be, remain let's silent just for a while. Ah, I mean, amazing, oh, right? God bless her. Beautiful, amazing, oh, beautiful, unbelievable. And I like how vulnerable she is now. Which exactly, says, it's really cute. Yeah, it is really cute, and she's so good. Mm. And like you know, gave it all for this film. She was so so brilliant. Came yeah, over. It's, t- and it's tough for when girls have to do these sorts mm. of scenes because m- crews are predominantly male, and it's a vulnerable position to be in. And she's just a, she's a good sport. Absolutely. And, you know, it was so lucky to get her because she'd come off the back of Bridesmaids and everybody was kind of after her and this was the next script that she chose to do despite being offered lots of things. And, uh, you know, I'm so pleased that she did because I honestly can't imagine any other gnat at all. This is Gary Lightbody singing Prefab Sprouts yeah. when love breaks down. Yes. And I think it's sublime and stunning and heartbreaking and amazing. It's and, a brilliant uh, song, man. And, and he was so sweet to it because they were on, they were off touring yes. around America. He literally did it sort of in between on a tour on yeah. a tour bus. Was so keen to help yeah. out and just absolutely seized it. We Absolute wanted, gent. We wanted him to do more, but um, couldn't, couldn't, didn't have the time to do it. But um, like he's so. I brilliant. did that, didn't I, Chris? Oh yeah, we were there. Yeah, we were there we together. Were there. Another scene you don't really oh, like. God, yeah. I'm so annoyed. So I <laughs> no, second unit it because oh. it's too jazz, too jazzy oh. a move. Oh. It's actually fine, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. Formosa Street. Yes, very beautiful street. Made of ale. Sort of made of ale. Very mm. nice. Red pepper, fine pizza. Yeah, yeah. very good. Mm. Delicious. Very good. Around the corner for oh no. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Don't Security. Mention, nobody lives anywhere near no, there. No. Don't you worry about that. No, no, no. 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 It's no. funny though because she, she's supposed to be. No, I'm not. Well, that, the flat that she lives in on that spot would be really expensive. Would it even above a shop? Yeah, cool. It's really? for my street. It's like right next to Ma- Warwick Avenue Station. But it's okay. a rental. Yeah, true. This so is this um, for this, five hundred quid a week. That'd be yeah. this. This is um, <laughs> this is y- Yaucha, which Yaucha. is a, which it was the first. Michelin starred Chinese restaurant in the capital. Look at you. Yep. Well, wow. ahead of Hackersan. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's on the corner of uh, Berwick and Broadwick Street. So, um, and it's really great because when we were filming there, 
that's where um, as an actor is where you go to all your auditions so it's quite nice to see other actors walking past and going yeah I'm just doing this little film <laughs> <laughs> and Fle- Fle- Fleming quite enjoyed that as well actually yeah. but it's a, like, it's a brilliant location and what I love about your actually I'll talk about the exterior when we get to the exterior I won't bang on about it now um uh, hasn't back projection got really good in films these days? It's good, isn't it? It's because they're yeah. not actually really in a taxi yeah. there. Okay, so this is a this is a funny scene. This is a, uh, again, any time when all the cast were together and there was a big ensemble thing, I thought they were it was really funny. And we haven't seen Stephen Merchant for quite a while now, and it's really nice to get him back, get him back, and uh, just kind of drive us through to the end of the movie, which is great. Um, Look at me drive this. It's just so beautiful, though, isn't, isn't she? Beautiful. Ridiculous, isn't it? Amazing. I've long Look been a that. fan of hers. Mm, yeah. Good Will yeah. Hunting. Forget oh, about it. Come yeah. on. You're always throughout everything. Disney's Tarzan. Tarzan. Everything. Disney's Tarzan. Hey, yeah. really? Jane. Didn't know that. Voice of Jane. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I thought you'd fuck a Moroccan. Fuck that was yours, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a good line. That. Well, yeah, I wrote the script. Oh, no, no, you did write some of the script. You worked very hard. That. Well done, that was yours, wasn't it? <laughs> no, no, because, because, because Stephen Merchant did improvise a lot. And, uh, yes. and, um, and, I just want to remind people because some people would presume that he improvised all of his stuff. In fact, people said to me, "Did, Dan did, did write some of it?" Yeah, did, did, did Steve write <laughs> his wedding speech? Oh, did people say that? Oh, I've corrected people on no, that. No, quite right. Well, thank mm. you very much. No, no, I write most. And again, he adds it and he makes it definitely much, much funnier. Um, and he's brilliant. And again, this is a this is a real. Actually, this is a classic example of Stephen and I kind of getting together and doing bits bits of both. So that's mm. his joke, the Eskimo joke. The Chinese joke is my joke, and we sort of came up with it on the day and just kept on adding to it and picking out bits that we liked and didn't like. And you know, his delivery is just amazing and sublime. Obviously. Very funny. Don't you clap? Get those eyes. You wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her, would you, Minnie? <laughs> She's a knockout. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that joke based on actual experience. Yeah. I was mm. once uh, on uh, Primrose Hill and my friend rang me because he saw me and I looked at my phone ah. and rejected the call in yeah. front of him. It's not good, and, is it? And uh, I, I feel like we've never quite been the same level of friends I, each. This was such a thrill for me. Big being rain machine. In Berwick yes. Street. Massive rain running machine. Running through the rain. Amazing. So, the, again, this is the... Raining this is, filled condoms from prostitutes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and this is one thing I, I... We had a little bit of a row about, didn't we, Chris? Well, I insisted on having rain because I just thought it was really important to kind of play that cliche. And look at this. This is such a beautiful shot. To me, this is like the epitome of London. You have the yeah. brilliant modern yaucha and the uh, pissing kind of rain, the, the pissing rain <laughs> and the kind of the cobbles of Berwick Street. To me, that's just kind yeah. of a, an amazing London location. I love that. This was another one of my audition scenes. Yeah, this this is like almost the starting point of where the script came from. Effectively, the idea of kind of subverting the idea of the romantic comedy and doing a kind of a proposal speech, but about a divorce. So it kind of we almost kind of when I was writing the script, I almost sort of worked back from this point. Uh, to you know, to fill in, fill in the. Did you write that Rose thing. would be wearing a toga as well? I did absolutely. It Can I say because it's, it's difficult because Rafe's in the room. Go on. to be nice about him. Yeah, I understand. Yes, um, this on the page was it was it was where you started in terms of writing the script. But mm-hmm. it always felt like it was going to be one of the hardest things mm. to pull off because mm. actually pulling off the tone of this delivery and not overplaying the humour in it, making it heartfelt and bringing yeah. and. and you can see you can feel it with an audience that they don't quite know what to feel yeah. and to get through this speech and get to a place where the audience goes ah oh, yeah. and are satisfied yeah. is a testament to the skill of Rafe and, and Rafe, Rafe but yeah. particularly oh, no, this uh, is I, a I think big, Rafe's ball yeah. knocks it out the park oh no it's unbelievable oh, I remember yeah. just at, watching it and just being mesmerised yeah. on the monitor and just thinking yes you, you've got it like, you did, that's basically one take he can yeah. come and downstairs came... from the Royal Court I thought, <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> I thought you know what yes. he can exactly. finally yeah the laurels are yours. I think Zoo will yes. really enjoy it. One, one, of your, one, of your, one of your gifts. Five yeah. stars. <laughs> five stars in nuts. Five, yes. <laughs> yeah, I think. Well, the Holy Trinity is nuts, Zoo, and front. <laughs> <laughs> That's the dream. Uh, yeah, you'll be their favourite. But no, uh, you know, it's amazing. And Rafe, you know, he is um, obviously it is difficult because he's here, but he's so brilliant as a leading man in this and mm. absolutely owns it and and was everything that I hoped he would be and more. Just with a kind of just a natural charisma and a natural warmth that you can't fake and you can't cheat and you know there are many great actors and there are many great comics but there's only one race ball there's only one race ball and like, as a comic actor who carries this film and you absolutely empathise with and laugh with it's an incredibly difficult thing and it's utterly credible throughout and it's it's a you know a brilliant amazing performance that I could never have wanted more from I have to say 
Well, that's very kind of you to say. I'm saying this now before, here we go. The, before it's been released at the box office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this this line here. Biggest like me, yeah, yeah. Probably think, one of the biggest laughs yeah, in the yeah, film. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, that, and you came I, out with that on the day. On the day I saw it? him at the day yeah. and I saw them staring at each other and I just thought it would be nice to pop something in here and say that. Now, one. I wasn't sure about this because when, when I first saw this um, film, it was a rough edit and yeah. you know, a sort of rough cut. and. Um, the, the, uh, I think it's a really amazing song. Uh, this song by um, David Gray. David, David Gray. Gray. It's a, like, a classic, but I thought it was so synonymous with the '90s. And then when I heard this band's called the, the Pierces, Pierces, and yeah. I just think it works so well, and it's such sure, a great version. And I yeah. think the idea of sort of a, a, a young current band doing it makes it work so well. Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful it's song. It's a great song. Mm. The Pierces, great. They're kind of a New York, uh, New York sisters who do lots of kind of harmonies and very kind of Fleetwood. Did Mac the bands all? Did they all watch the? No, none of them. Film before. No, no. They've got no, yeah. I don't think I've got any clue about what they've no, some, some of them did. Some of them did. Gary did. Gary wouldn't. Oh, yeah, Gary, Gary did. Gary, yes, Gary, Gary definitely did. Gary definitely did. That's now, true. so this was the probably the hardest location to yeah. try, yes. and it was, again, something you absolutely insisted on and wanted from the outset. Mm. And um, yeah. tell us why. Because, like, the modern St Pancras is amazing. It's kind of an epic building and is that brilliant kind of uh, synthesis of, of modern London, where it's incredibly modern and jazzy, but still like, historical and and has incre- you know has unbelievable scale so i really wanted to do it there but the problem was they wouldn't let us take uh, hardly any equipment on the platform um, they treat uh, it like a runway of an airport. Exactly. So you have to go through customs also. I have to exactly. say, there was a woman from Eurostar called Leslie, Leslie. Uh, yes. who was incredibly frightening the first time we met oh, yes. her yeah, and yeah. just said, no, 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 <laughs> you can't do that, you can't do that. And we, yeah. we left the first wrecking very, very depressed. And actually, yes. Funny she run. sort of came yeah. brilliantly oh, no, good. Brilliant. And, and they, they, were, they were rather wonderful to us in the end. I think once they realised we were a proper film doing proper things, they were sort of all right. And and I have to say, when, when we... Um, for all the reasons you spoke about, we had to get this right, so the stakes are quite high. And this is a very difficult balance to strike this scene because it's quite... I'm... This was a um, tough first night. It was it? a tough first night. We shot it over two days and actually came back and shot quite a lot of what we shot on the first night because it took a while to work it out. Most of the stuff on the on the day came quite naturally, mm-hmm. didn't it? Yeah. But this, this took scenes. some work. Yeah. Um, and it's again, it's the balance of making it heartfelt, but again, subverting... Uh, the the more traditional version of what this scene would be and keeping it funny and keeping it sweet and so not making it too kind of over the top and outrageous and vulgar or whatever or whatever and um and just just feeling kind of the love between all the couples in a, in a certain sense and not making it feel too unbelievably cheesy so you're right we had a, a tough first night you wrote a good line um, this and then the eyes and then twinkly we came eyes back. thing yes, was, we, that was all written on the day to try yes. and give it some extra exactly. heart a bit of heart yeah exactly because P- Chris would um a brilliantly supportive producer sat in the room right now would, would sit by the monitor a lot and would be nothing but encouraging but I think you were despairing quite a lot because uh, you and my Dan have, uh, uh, have got a, a potty mouth so a, a, lot, a lot of we play blue don't we a lot, we play blue so a lot of these riffs that me and Rose were doing on this would descend into complete smut yes. <laughs> of which poor uh, Chris would have his head in his hands yeah. and saying it's just not right there we go this line this line that we I thought of overnight and we put in with an idea to make Josh kind of you know Adorable and dreamy and lovely. Um, and here we were at sort of 4 a.m. on a station. Yeah, that's right. Felt good at this point, though. It was like, yeah, we got it right. Yeah, oh. exactly. Thank God. Thank God. Oh, oh, funny. There we go. Right, very good. Nice shoes, Rose. Yeah. Lovely shoes. Don't know how she ran in those. Yeah. Um, Shoe toga combination. And then yeah. a lot of kissing from this point on. Loads. Wasn't there a lot of kissing? Loads. How was it? Very pleasant. Yeah. Nothing but again, no tongue you, again. You, though, you was just there? want to be respectful, and you don't want to go like going deep tongue. No, well, you're a gentleman, aren't you? She was a pregnant lady. Her husband it's was true. there. Her husband oh, yeah, was also yeah, there. Yeah, he yeah. was yeah. there. Heavily right. pregnant. Yeah. with her husband there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is um, doesn't make it for a tongue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so and now, so we pull out. This is the final shot. Jesse Ware comes in again with um, never knew love like this before, and in reality, our camera was allowed to go about about this far. Yeah, mm. uh, which was annoying for the kind of the epic shot that you want at the end of the uh, movie so all of this is CGI so this is a, an effect shot uh, by, done by the brilliant people at uh, Invisible Paddy who was uh, in charge who was amazing and uh, incredibly expensive <laughs> <laughs> unbelievably expensive to do that shot but hopefully worth it and there you are and there we are oh but are we no but are, are we man, hold on here we go a little bit more and again, just a, a final funny line that actually Stephen Merchant thought of. Credit to Stephen. £45,000 on a wedding to your prick son. You can chip in for a bit of fucking dim sum. It's good to get Jane Ash to say prick and fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Wonderful, isn't it? I feel a little bit horny. Man versus Machine. Man versus Machine, yes. 
Yeah, yeah, who did these titles. I, I like the way that when my name comes up, it's an upside down doll with his dick out. Well, well. it's not like, well, that, they've got well. gelatinous sweets. I'd rather. All right. What would you go on? Given, what would you? What would you? What would you want, have wanted? Let's have a. Look. There you are. Oh, it's we comedy. Also, can I say uh, <laughs> we should? You know, the, the fact is that the, you saw the producers with Tim Bevan and Eric Fellner and yes. uh, 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 working title and. Um, yes. You know, Working Title are by far Britain's most successful and brilliant oh, yeah. company. Amazing. And uh, Tim and Eric, uh, the co-chairman of that company, yes. uh, very much the lead producers on this and, and uh, you know, huge support throughout. Amazingly supportive Absolutely. and brilliant. And they make a film properly. When you make a they Working do. Title film, you know it's not going to be corners cut or, you know, just pony in any sense. So um, I'm hugely grateful to Tim and Eric, not only for this, but for also for, you know, the last you know, 10, 12 years, just been very supportive of, of, uh, of me. No, they're the best <laughs> company in the, in the world for an actor to work for as well. They just make you feel so um, great and completely supportive. Yeah, and this, and so quickly, just this scene uh, was supposed to drop in at some point um, during the movie we shot it. Um, uh, we wrote it during the shoot because we, wanted, we thought we wanted a bit more Stephen Merchant in the film because he was so funny and we, the idea was to drop it in at some point uh, but ultimately it didn't quite fit because it would have slightly stopped the flow of the, of the story These so, were like 25 minute takes Yeah Amazing. That are incredibly dark at a certain point. Oh my god! They talk gosh. about uh, <laughs> baby murder. Oh my god! And um, and I believe also racist killings. Yeah, sure. Um, but uh, but no. Uh, we and this is where we it was so where funny. we come to the end of our journey. And here we are. There we go. Yeah. Ah, yeah, amazing, amazing. 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 Quite high up. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, I like that. It? We it's went, good, isn't it? We went in order of appearance. Yeah, nice, exactly. <laughs> High important. Billy. Higher than the yeah, higher than Simon Baker. Daisy Donovan. Daisy Donovan. Daisy Donovan. William Andrews. Yeah, Dustin Demery Burns. Very funny. Tony Didn't Luckin, our it. stunt coordinator, easiest, easiest, easiest job, job in the world. In the world. Yeah, Literally exactly. the least stunty. What were the stunts? Uh, Do you, you when you had ran to, to, the, um, to the restaurant, oh, yeah, you yeah, slightly yeah. Uh, jostled somebody's uh, shoulder. There was some jostling. Yeah, exactly. You should talk about your assistants at this point, shouldn't you? Absolutely, Fran of course. Fran Broadhurst, Pip Williams. Fran Broadhurst, unbelievable. The wind beneath my wings. Um, constantly uh, by my side, uh, supplying everything I would ever need. And uh, adorable and delightful and efficient. Big camera operator Sam Renton, what a dude. Oh, yes. Nye Jones, Zoe Whitaker on the uh, on the playback. We loved her, didn't she we? She was a sparky girl, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, she was a sparky girl, that's great. That's great. It seems it seems wrong. Oh, let's talk about Tony Cranston, the editor, as well. Oh, yes. Fantastic, brilliant. Just devoted himself to this and did an amazing job with uh, uh, with all the footage. And uh, you know, Dave Smith, brilliant. gaffer. Dave Smith. Unbelievable gaffer, Legend. great, you know. Legend. Lovely, yep. lovely man. Housewife's favourite as well. Very the ladies right. love him, don't they? Yeah, and a oh, few other members of the crew. Probably, Jane Hooks, I should probably say, my our, our, our wonderful co-producer. You should, I should. absolutely. Yes. Very good, amazing Jane Hooks. She's brilliant, very supportive. Yeah. Very attractive woman as well. Mm-hmm, yep. Yeah, yeah. Unit drivers, Julian Chapman. <laughs> he was my um, he was my driver, and uh, as an actor, you have two very close relationships on um, a film. Uh, number one is with the person who does your makeup because they're right up in your face all the time. You see them first thing in the morning and last thing at night, and they're there just before you do a take. So that's Chrissy Blundell, the Oscar-winning Chrissy Blundell, who's amazing. And the other person you see a lot of is the is the person who sees you first thing in the morning and last thing at night again, and sort of looks after you. Is your driver, and it's a very important relationship. And um, uh, Julian was my driver, and I've tried to make him my driver again, but he's off with Ben Cumberbatch oh, on a film about Julian Assange. Yeah, so uh, ben, Ben's got him, but he's. Um, is, is, does that mean uh, Julian is now dead to you? <laughs> no, Julian, Benedict this is, now, is a long way of saying you're now dead yeah, to yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, Still yeah, my driver. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. No, uh, he was brilliant. And I had Glenn, uh, who's uh, hilarious and brilliant and has uh, uh, an incredibly voracious appetite for watching terrible films on his iPad. Uh, like, I think he'd watched, I don't know, I can't say what the terrible film was because that's, that's wrong. So, but anyway, very yeah. Pleased, yeah. Lovely yeah. chap. Yeah. Yeah. the songs. And then the songs. Well, gentlemen. Yes. This is goodbye. It is this goodbye. Is we'll never see each other never again. Never see each other That's again. That was, this is this, the final. This yeah. is the final job of the film. This we should say as, that we're yes. the, the, the date today is what the uh, first February the first. February the first. A week today, the film. The will film be is released on the eighth. Yeah. Like we're still full of hope. We <laughs> are still full of hope at this point. Yeah. <laughs> you may yeah. well be saying, why on earth are they even giving a DVD? Uh, there you go. SpongeBob SquarePants dressing gown. Viacom. Yeah. We have to make it ourselves. Five thousand pounds. Five thousand pounds. Yeah. Doesn't exist. Jenny Packham made the wedding dress. Yes. Oh, oh and uh, I suppose the final big shout should go to Studio Canal for oh, yeah. the money. Oh, Ron go. Halpern, Ron Halpern. Olivia Corson, Danny Perkins, Jenny Borgars, Dan McRae. Amazing. Brilliant. Uh, so supportive. Uh, allowed us to make the film we want to make. Thank you. Thank you very much.